This is a Pod Dealers Network podcast. Baby, baby, <laughs> we, we we live. We are in color, literally. Is we live? We, we live? live. We live. Okay. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Hello, everyone, to oh, the Black God. Guy Wrestling Podcast. I'm scared the shit. What? Why? I don't know, man. It's been a long day. Man. Oh, I'm sorry, man. Oh, the, the loudest got to you? You did. Hey, man, it's all good. <laughs> all is well. Um, welcome, everyone, to the Black God Wrestling Podcast. This is volume 53. 53. 53. Now my college basketball number. Oh, really? Nice. 53. Nice. You put up big numbers? I ain't never scored 53. Oh, dang. Minus scored five. You might have hit a couple threes. I found that. That's pretty good, though. Yeah. You did it in college. Shout yeah. out. Shout out, though. Shout out. Shout out. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, I am Nolo Green. Hope everyone's having a wonderful evening. Hello, everybody. Even though I said I was retired, <laughs> I, I'm here. Yeah. Underwood. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> and this is uh, your boy that's never late for a party. Ready to get this show started. D Mac motherfucking tardy. Let me ask you yes. a question. When you say you've never been late for a party, does that mean like you would show up like on time or do you go on CP time? Well, the party don't start till I walk in. Mm. That's what I fucking mm. So that's what I want to mm. hear. You know, what mm. that's what I want to hear. I like it. That's what I want to hear. <laughs> Absolutely, man. <laughs> Come on. Right, well, how, how's everyone doing? Peachy, peachy. You're peachy. peachy. Okay. Yeah. You know, I, I know you always been a few rough. I just wanna, I just wanna just do a quick serious moment. I just like to dedicate this episode to my dad. Mm. He's been in the hospital for the past week, so I just want to send you know, just you know, show the positive love. You know what I mean? He's he's a fighter. He's a you know soldier. You know what I mean? So pops, I love you. Wow. Give us some pop. Yeah, props to him all the way. But other than yeah. that, yeah, man, I'm, I'm cool, man. I'm cool. cool, that's good. Shout out to uh, cafeteria hospital food. Yeah. Being, yeah. Was it? How was it? Was it like? So breakfast is lit. Hey, breakfast is usually lit. That shit is like on Waffle House level. Oh, nice. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Shout out to them. Yeah, would you like an extra biscuit? Yes. Yes, yes I, I would. would. Yes, I would. I would like that. Are the honey biscuit. packets over there? Absolutely. Oh Ooh. man. Oh, uh, lunch is terrible. Mm. Dinner is dry. Okay. But you get an, an abundance of Jello packs or Jello, you know, cups. Oh, did you murder the Jello cups? Buddy, ah, did I? Man. Oh, I'm still kind of pissed off, to be honest, man. Oh, you mad about what happened last night? Yeah, man. No k Oh, no. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. First, <laughs> yes. where can they hear us? Um, Apple Podcast. Boom. Uh, Google Podcast. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Look, look, look. Let me muster it out real quick. I believe it. Let me. Apple Podcast, Boom. Google Podcast, Boom. Spotify, Boom. Stitcher Radio, Boom. Overcast. Yep. Shout out to the world famous Pod Dealers Network. Absolutely. Yes. Peace and shout out, out fam. And that's, and that's how you do that. Yeah. Yeah, you already know. It's all good. But we're going to start with no kayfabe because. Niggas got knocked out. Niggas did get. Got got towel, towels were thrown. Towels were thrown. <laughs> Knockouts happened. Niggas got boxed up. Did they? That was to good, this day. That was a good. To this day. To this day. First of all, that was a great undercard. Yeah, I undercard. The undercard was great. So that tall ass, <laughs> yeah, that tall ass, uh, Puerto Rican. You talking about the first match? Yeah, the first Bro, one. He kept on. He really lost that shit. He kept <laughs> on leaning forward. Man, you was your fucking height. You six six at one fifty three, bro. You supposed to be. And you gonna right. lean forward, man? That motherfucking Australian almost beat the shit out of you. Right, well, all right, I'm gonna keep it funky with y'all. I, when the undercard was happening, I was going to various bars and enjoying <laughs> myself. Yes. Oh, of course. Oh, and then I, then I found out that my homeboy had to fight. So I said, oh, then there's really no point for me to go look for another place to go to. Yeah. So when the main event was about to start, that's where I went. Right before the... I'd like to thank the the Wi-Fi at the at Riverside for letting me use their... For letting me pay for it. Mm-hmm. Fuck that. He think he used the stream, bro. God, who cares? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> who cares? You know what this is. Oh, don't worry, because we about to talk about something else. I'm about to be I, streaming, too. I, I, yeah. <laughs> Illegally streaming. <laughs> Somebody is going to be televised. <laughs> hey. <laughs> the revolution for y'all. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, yeah, I, I actually paid for that shit. 
Oh wow, you paid for it? Yeah, man. Me and my brother went half on that motherfucker yeah. dog, and he had got my password and shit. You know, uh, yeah, man. We, that's what kind of pissed me off so much. I was like, oh, and then so what happened? Yeah, what happened in the fight? The main uh, event, particularly, man. Bruh. Who fought? Yeah, who did fight? Tyson Fury, the lin- still the lineal heavyweight champion, mm-hmm. yes. and now the WBC heavyweight yes, champion. Yes, sir. Both them belts. <sighs> Well, well, actually, who, who one, one is a belt and one is like a bragging right. So. I feel you. I who did he beat though? He beat Deontay Wilder, our it? king, still our king. Oh yeah, he's still a black king all day, all day. We support him forever. Hey, and that does not mean he's not above getting no. talked about for losing. If this yeah. was nineteen ninety, we would have been talking about Tyson. Yeah, that probably could have been a whole episode. Oh god. But Tyson get his ass beat like that. No, he didn't. No, Tyson. He got it. Well, Tyson, well, Tyson got beat. He got what? knocked out. He got knocked out. Hey, yo, just to let everybody know, if you never watched that match, I watched that match. What's up? The Tyson, Tyson Douglas? and Buster Douglas. Tyson was losing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he was losing. <laughs> it wasn't just that Buster Douglas knocked him out. Nah, he yeah, was losing that yeah, fight. Buster Douglas beat He was not prepared time. for that fight at all. I like to, I like to do a comparison piece because I always love to watch. Bust Douglas versus Mike Tyson, mm-hmm. and then when he fought Evander Holyfield, mm. and how out of shape he was, mm. like man, what happened? He was really out he, of shape. Man, like he was gross. But back to, to Wilder and Fury. So, um, Our, what, what do you feel like? Why do you feel uh, Wilder like came up short here? Um, because you're more of a boxing aficionado than I am. I have my own yeah. thoughts. Um, he. he he played right into the game plan. He should have kept his distance, knowing that uh, knowing that um, Fury wanted to wrestle him and you know tire him out, put his weight on him. He should have he should have came stronger with the jab at first. But looking at him like when, every time he was throwing the right hand, usually he twitches hip. I wasn't seeing a lot of that. It was like a whole bunch of arm punching, which he's he's not really fundamentally sound. Who, As um, a boxer, Wilder, Wilder, yeah. But he's very fundamental when it comes to that right hand. Like he's gonna make sure he turn his hip. He wasn't doing that, so I'm like, something must be wrong with this man's leg. You think you think he was injured before the fight? Yeah, yeah. I think I think like he had some type of leg issue before because he wasn't really stable even before like before he got hit before he got hit when it was like the fourth, second, third round. Just the third round third when he got, he got up. Yeah. yeah. So, like, he was, even, like, the first couple rounds before he got touched up, he, he wasn't really stable. And I was noticing that, in the, like, beforehand. Not making no excuses for him. He got there. He fought. And, I mean, he got touch, whooped. Touch but he fight. showed a lot of heart. I was about to say, I to me, I could, I could be wrong, but I just feel like, like, I don't think he was able to keep his distance. Like, he was out here just... Tyson Fury was on his he ass. Played up yeah, exactly. fight. He played a Fury uh, fought a great fight. Yeah, he, he, he boxed did. him up. Did he come, wasn't he heavier for this fight than he was? Both of them were. Like, oh, that, was the heaviest, that was the heaviest they been in the fight. Mm-hmm. In a fight. I think one was 13 pounds over, and then the other one was 19 pounds over. Yeah. From the last time. Yeah. Fought. Right. But, but they heavyweights, so... Yeah, like, Wilder got up to, like, two... 29 one time, but he was like 231. And uh, Fury, Fury was 273. Was 273. Yeah. And last fight, he was 256, which is still big, but then you get Fury. the biggest fuck. Yeah, I was going to say Fury Yo, 6'9. Yo, 6'8. I'll be damned if a nigga starts singing after beating my ass. Oh, nice. Oh, that's what I'm talking yeah. about. Shout out. It's the interruptions out. that we need on the show. Ah, that's great. But, uh, <laughs> It might that might be a sign to say that you want us to uh Stop change talking. the subject. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, that's the that's the nigga alarm. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. But Help, the, nigga. No, nah, one thing I am pissed off about really though is all the memes and jokes and shit about I mean they funny oh, but man. see that's the one thing. Y'all gotta send them to me. Oh yeah, yo, yeah, I'm not, like, hold on, you got, I got show, one you for show you, me, partner. Man. But no, no man. Man. but see they was talking all this shit like oh he our king he you doing it, but as soon as somebody you, they so nigga, you had to like fans, you had to like that's not fickle fans. <laughs> Everyone's gonna get these jokes. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, that's, <laughs> Yo, that's great. That's great. Big in the Martin shit. The Martin shit, man. That's great. Man, fickle. Tyler Hurst. Hurst but you know what though, man? Those are all coming from. Are those are they, those like people saying that? Are they coming from like actual boxing fans or just like casual? Casual. That's casual. Then, 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 then,
That's just part of it. <laughs> I think. Plus, and that was a dirty ass punch behind the ear, though. Yeah, that wasn't that wasn't the best punch. But hey, it's, it things happen. And it's all good, man. I I was pissed off, dog. That motherfucker. That motherfucker licked him on the neck. Yeah, he did. He did. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He did do that. That's disrespectful. It yeah, was. Yeah, he did yeah. a lot of disrespectful yeah. things. I don't expect anything less from Tyson. I don't. Curry, to be honest with you. I don't expect anything from Gypsy King. No. Yeah. Not at all. <laughs> I think. Um, Wait, Wild, Wild has 30 days to announce that he wants a rematch? Yes. Oh, that rematch got, happening. I want the rematch more, way before I do, I see Fury and Joshua. I'm actually here for Fury and Joshua. I mean, I'm, not, I'm, I'm here for it too, because like I said, like we were talking about before the show, it's going to do big business. Yes. Especially, you put it in Wembley Stadium? Yeah, absolutely. Oh my God. That shit going to be fire. Oh. You know how that's gonna make probably the most money like any boxing match. Yeah, 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 yeah. I just saw it. You talking about Fury and Joshua? And Joshua if yeah. they did it in London, oh, ninety thousand. That'd be the big. That'd be the biggest British shit. Yeah. They do the rematch, Joshua. And, I mean, Fury and Wilder in London. They did because shit. That right now, Fury the A side. Yeah, Fury the A side. He got the belt. He got the lineal championship. But they already talked that there was um was it was Martin he's possibly rematching Joshua. Who? He was on the undercard. Oh, the uh, is his name Martin? Yeah, I know you're talking about yeah. the guy with the dreads. Yeah, that Joshua already beat. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, because yeah, because yeah, yeah. that was, was a, a, I, IBF uh, IBF eliminator, so mm-hmm. he won that, so he could go for the IBF belt. Yeah, I got you. I got Which you won't win. No, no, hell no. no. Um, uh, he not Ruiz. I always, you know what though? I I kind of wish in times like this that boxing wasn't so convoluted. Cause oh yeah, you wish I that would you do could just I would do uh, Theory and Joshua, and I would do um, Ruiz and Wilder. Yeah, and then have them just fight each other. Yeah, you know what I mean. That would be dope. I but, like that. But now we we're talking about. Channels, yeah. yeah, channels, and it's a lot to deal with. And promoters, it's, everybody wants their money. So I've been watching. You know, it's funny that we're talking about Boston because I've been I've watched, I've went back and watched all the Rocky movies. Oh, like okay. on my downtime, mm-hmm. man, those movies are so unrealistic. I can't imagine. I haven't seen them in an awful long time. I, I seen like, Creed movies more. Recently I was like, there's no those, those shit. I'm just unrealistic too. I was like, yeah, no, yeah. no, no defense. First no, of all, Creed, Creed not fighting. Oh, uh, that big ass nigga and <laughs> winning. And then that happened. And then Rocky, Rocky in number five five. How the fuck he the heavyweight <laughs> yeah. anything? He was five five one sixty. How the fuck he the heavyweight champion, dog? So this is the one. That's, I was, that's this the, is, that killed the one I was really analyzing was Rocky four because I was the when Ivan Drago and Creed went at it. Yeah. And I was like, there's like if this was a real a real fight, like. So many people would go to prison. <laughs> I was oh, yeah. like, the, first of all, the referee should have just stopped the fight. Everybody waiting for him to throw the towel. Throw the damn towel! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The referee allowed Apollo Creed to get his to get killed. Yeah, because he definitely should. Number two, him. in a situation like that, no boxing commission is going to allow the paparazzi to just bomb rush the ring like that. Especially yeah. now, no. If he dies, if he dies. He dies. He dies. He dies. That's nuts. Oh man, I love the eighties. Cause then I went down a rabbit hole. Cause then I started watching Terminator and Rambo. Oh, you was on my I'm on my action kick. Oh uh, yeah, that's yeah, the movie I never saw before. Terminator. Oh, oh really? Like none of them? None of them. No, no not Terminator. Rambo. Rambo. Uh, Rambo. Just watch the first one. Yeah. Just like I tell people with Terminator, stop after the second. I seen Terminator. I forgot <laughs> yeah. which one I seen. <laughs> I mean, the second was the best one. But yeah, just stop. Did I say the first one? Uh-huh. Did I say stop after the No, no, you said okay, stop okay. the second one. No, you said it right. Okay, because... I just laughed. That's I'm right. not acknowledging the third one. I'm damn sure not acknowledging the one that just took place. I heard that one is actually good. It's all right. Oh, did you watch it? Yeah, it's cool. Okay. It's cool. All right. But uh, that's all I got for the, the boxing. I think anything else. Yeah, because I'm... T-Mac? You got anything, anything to say else? on uh, Mr. Bottom. Wilder? He going to come back, bro. He going to come back and win. What if he loses? Yeah, what you gonna do then? Shit, bro. Shit. Mayweather gonna come back. Now I'll be back on his. Just Rufu Mayweather and Javante Tate Davis and Errol Spence Jr. 
I think Javante Davis has a bigger problem. Secure, yes. Well, yes, he does. Yeah, I think he got bigger problems than boxing. Boxing, yes. He showed you read for boxing. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Talking about when he choked this girl? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That was some whole ass shit. Yeah. I think he's supposed to. Spo- nah, I'm not even going to say what they said afterwards, but yeah. yeah, yeah. I, at, that, at that moment, you Oh, you didn't. Oh, you haven't. Mm-hmm. Nah, 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 nah. Not just on read. Me. Yeah, not on me. Nah, nah, it's, it's bad. <laughs> it's bad. Yeah, 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 yeah. You should read. Like, I'm good on rooting for him. But it, like, yeah, for I'm not rooting on him. Yeah. yeah. But fucking, then, I don't know what happened. Yeah. But if y'all say not to. Yeah, yeah, nah, I'm good on that. I'm good on it. But, yep. This time, I have notes. Oh, <laughs> look, as, a, as somebody who's done podcasts for nearly 10 years, I'm a proud father right now. Hey, I feel like I'm teaching you. I've taught you well. Hey, I appreciate it. It's cool. It's cool. So, let's talk about another thing that uh, might be start being illegally streamed. These pay-per-views. Okay. <laughs> if, they, if they get sold to ESPN and WWE the is out here thinking that I am going to pay for it, the network and sixty dollars for a pay per view. Those days is over. Okay, so this is so this is what I would do if I if I was Vince because you're now talking about having me pay for ESPN plus, then on top of that keep the network. That's no, that's unrealistic. Mm-hmm. Even fi- like even if you have, can financially do it, it's just it's not viable. You know what I mean? Like there's really nothing on the network outside of the takeovers and the pay-per-views. And yeah, I guess if you want to feel nostalgic, but when do you ever do that? You just go on YouTube. I would do the big four. Rumble, Mania, uh, SummerSlam, and Survivor Series. I would put that on ESP, ESPN Plus and keep the uh, takeovers, the Saudi pay-per-views, and um, I would just do start doing like you know the the second tier pay per views. Oh yeah, yeah. Because Money like, in the bank. Because like I said, you have to you have to make people want to keep the network. They're not going to keep both. So no. they trying to put the pay per views on ESPN yeah. Plus. Yeah, yeah. they talking about we'll because sell it to them because it, it will generate more. But they're losing money with the network. Essentially, man, fuck that. They do that shit out, bro. I barely want the network <laughs> right yeah. now. They do that. The only thing that keeps us is the pay per views for real. Right. Takeovers. Yeah. It takeovers. Yeah. Now, like I said, I, I heard somebody who talked about it because they were like, you know, as a podcaster, we have to buy it. We're, I'm not buying it. Dog. Oh, I'm going to watch. Yeah. Just I'm going to watch it. I'm going to watch it. That, just not the way that they want us to. Oh, no. Nah, don't worry. We got it. Yeah. <laughs> <It's over. laughs> we can, somebody can have ESPN on their phone. <laughs> just just right. it. That's dick talk. That's dick talk. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We straight around. Right I just don't think. I, just, I get why they're doing it. It's a smart, smart move money wise, but at the same time, no. Yeah, fuck that. Yeah, that's bro. I ain't, I ain't fucking with that shit, bro. That's like the dumbest shit. Yeah, ignorance. Okay. Nah, nah, nah. Funny ignorance with ignorance. <laughs> yeah, that's like yeah. the dumb. That, that shit. Like he said, bro. Like that. I don't see how they're going to expect us to do both like that, man. Unless they add it on to that so, Disney Plus. So what Disney is Plus what is on ESPN Plus? Like, uh, what, like what else? Like if you were to for somebody that doesn't have it, what would you be getting? Oh, you would get um, <laughs> some hockey games that some they play a whole bunch of like different sports that aren't on that they're not going to put on isn't, ESPN. Isn't and, USC exclusive to ESPN Plus? Yes, yeah. for pay per views. Yes. So they, like so some now like you get the, the fight nights for free. But you don't you get. Still, you still got to pay for the paper. You got to pay for the big paper. Yeah. yeah. So is ESPN Plus? How much is it? It's five ninety nine. Four ninety nine. Four ninety nine. Yes. So five ninety nine plus the sixty dollars that a pay per view would be. Yes. Okay. Yeah. No. But <laughs> the thing about that though is that the pay per view, like you know, like some of the pay per views you can still get on the cable provider yeah, yeah like on demand oh but them shits be a hundred damn dollars so you actually get like a deal oh okay. essentially because the wilder fight on paper like if you would have got it from let's say Verizon, <coughs> Verizon it would have been it was 80 it was, yeah it was it was 80 yeah other provider was like 100 like ESPN plus it was it was 80 mm-hmm. yeah it's different I just, it's, it's not much of 
I mean, they got a whole bunch of the documentaries too. Like I had, yeah, I used to detail. Yeah, the thirty oh, yeah, thirty joints. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I yeah, like that detail. Get, like they have a whole bunch of stuff up there. It's just yeah, you get like all the thirty for thirties. If you're a really big sports fan, I was gonna say yeah, sports has yeah, it's, then that it's a it's a great app. I've always said that I think we should move away from like the pay per view model. Like I would love to see like WrestleMania on Fox. As like, like that'd be dope. Present it as like the way they do the Super Bowl. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? You did, obviously they would have to cut it down to four hours and everything, which would be love, great for us. Love. Didn't they do that one year, like two thousand? No, they was, they just played it after, like after it already like been on pay per view, and then they I, put it on Fox. No, nah, like when the one with the like WrestleMania thirteen wasn't that like on Fox? I can't remember. Okay, no, no, no. This is the one time. This is the one time I saw. I was yeah the one when they had like it was the that's the, Brad that's Brad that's the Brad, Brad Austin uh, Austin one no not thirteen on WrestleMania eleven Brett that would have been Diesel or the Lawrence Taylor pay per view I think so it was like it was Diesel it was Diesel and Sean the paper mm-hmm. the main event and they had Jonathan Taylor damn Jonathan Taylor Thomas Roman and they had uh, Pamela yeah, Anderson. Back. I want to say because when no, I see no no no, no. Said Weaver, oh yeah you're yeah. right yeah he, he's the one he's the non singing symbol yeah because when I used to watch it on YouTube it'll have like the Fox logo at the bottom of the screen you got me stumped on this one man this is Margaret I, I have no idea I was gonna say this one I'll Google it mm-hmm. I was five so if it was on Fox yeah I was in that I was a WCW guy at that time. I watch WCW over everything most of the time. Yeah, like, like I still watch, like I watched WWF back then. Just, but I was way more invested in WCW because I was a very big fan of a w- racist. Yeah, I was wrong for who? Of a racist that I didn't know was racist at the time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. WCW like at that time, Psh, dog. Oh, Sin- bro, I literally like what was it? I can't remember when, when, what year it was, but I watched a video of the formation of the NWO Wolfpack, and I just fell down a rabbit hole. For a it while. just it tripled, man. It, <laughs> it was tripled. crazy. There's a guy who has a YouTube page that chronicles the entire history of the crow sting. When I say I fell, and I fell hard. <laughs> you watched all that shit because in the first video was when the fake NWO Steve uh, beat Lex Luger in the, the parking lot. I was like, oh, I love this, and I was like, oh, what's, what's going on here? Let's just keep on going. Because <laughs> I was actually looking for when the NWO, <laughs> the NWO finally got Sting <laughs> and they beat the shit out of him. Yeah, beat the shit out of him. <laughs> Man, great days. When you watch, when you watch it back, he kind of deserved it because he saw it happen. <laughs> he saw it happening. One of my favorite NWO moments is still when they dart uh, Ray Mysterio. Hmm. Oh yeah, but YouTube is a YouTube page. Yeah, it's a YouTube page. Yeah, see, there's a in fact, there's a YouTube page of that. There's a YouTube page that chronicles the entire history of the Undertaker. Yes, there's one that chronicles Austin. Oh yeah, there's some good shit out there. Yeah, oh yeah, shout out to if you. Want to, if you want to go through some rabbit holes of shit, oh, shout out gotcha. to the people. Shout out to the people who are legally doing this. Yes, <laughs> helping us out. You know what I mean? Because giving knows, us content. Because if God knows, Vince is not going to do it. No, I'll be. Uh, you know, what hey, man. Oh, my, have you, my bad. What's up? I'm with the Fox thing. On September 30th, 95, it was a one hour special uh, that included that's the right. Diesel. Oh, that's okay. Right. So, yeah. That's All right. Right. But I think a live broadcast would be. Oh, on Fox? Like, for, make it like it's been. And now for the live broadcast of WrestleMania. Like, yeah. something like that would be dope. You know what I mean? I think it would bring. I think it would bring more sponsors. I think it would bring more sponsors. A lot more people will watch who, it. Because think about it, Who are you catering to then at that point? Are you catering to the hardcore fans to get ESPN Plus? Do you think casual fans are going to... Casual fans definitely ain't. No. They're, you hoping for everyone that die hard to, to pay for it. That's pretty much what you're saying. Real, you're in a losing battle right now. You fought, like, Maybe it's just because I'm on social media, but it just seems like you five weeks out from the biggest pay, your biggest event, and it don't seem like there really ain't no, no buzz for it. They definitely haven't. Uh, they're making changes, apparently. I've heard. Well, yeah, I guess we'll get there. Yes, we will. I was reading them today. I don't like, I don't like <laughs> that many changes, dog. You said what? I don't like that many changes, bro. There is too many changes, especially going if you, especially if I got a pay more, bro. Oh, we back on that. Those kind of changes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck that. 
you not uh again paying sixty dollars for a pay per view. That shit's out the window. So my dick, pretty much. <laughs> you, you know what? The drawback to that is, I feel like you can't. This is like you going back on your word. Like you've now gotten fans accustomed to the nine ninety nine thing, and now you want to change it. Yeah, you want to make it so. So we not we losing like the main reason that we got it. And here's the thing: even when they were talking about doing a tier system, it just like to me it wasn't warranted enough for me to be like, "All right, I'll pay more." Yeah, because like I think they said for the tier system, you're going to get like other wrestling promotions. Okay. Cool. All right. Cool. Like Evolve doesn't do that many shows. Like who who are you going to do? Who are these wrestling promotions yeah, you're going to give shot to? But Progress, like Progress, is a great promotion, but. I'm not, Is it worth that much? I'm not going out of my way on a Thursday night to watch NXT UK. What makes you think <laughs> that I'm going to go out of my way <laughs> to watch a progress match? It's just, it's not going to happen. Man. I understand. I understand. So, I don't know. I hope it yeah. works out for them. I hope it actually doesn't happen. Yeah, I hope they, like, look at it and be like, nah, this, this is was dumb. Thing. You know what? We're going to go back to doing what we've been doing. That Disney money started to talk. This Do is it. the first conversations. Yeah, dog. This is the first... The first Hey. Oh man, fuck Disney! <laughs> what you had to Disney for? They about to make us pay sixty dollars to watch fucking wrestling. Oh uh, yeah, you know? it's a monopoly, man. Right? Bro. You know what they do? You know what they do? This shit, man. No telling how good the streams gonna be. I right. streams are gonna be amazing. <laughs> <laughs> don't know, man. Have to see. It's all good. So, uh, last Sunday. Was Takeover, Takeover mm-hmm. Portland. You're an amazing show. I uh, loved it so much. <laughs> Minus only only one really negative thing happened. Was that? Oh, Bianca, Bianca losing. Other than that, I was fine. Yeah, that was a, it was a good ass Takeover. I just lost again. Oh, prediction. Oh, I won't even uh, thinking about that. Yeah, man. Oh, I I know I got everyone right, but no, you didn't. Yes, I did. What did I get wrong? You got the. Uh, it was no way that you got the. Uh, it was one match. Hold on. <laughs> what are you talking about, dog? I can tell you which match. I got every match right. No, the fuck you did. Yes, I did. Oh, Keith man. Lee versus uh, Djokovic. An amazing match. I'm. I love their matches. Mm-hmm. I, no, need a, I need the, a break. Uh, oh, you need a break. I need a break. The fucking tag team match. You didn't get that one right. Yes, I did. Yeah, I, said the bro- said the bro- I said the bros. I said the bros. Yeah. Oh man. <laughs> you the one that said fucking yeah, UE. Said, I said the only people that's leaving with that only one that's leaving with a belt tonight from UE is Cole. And I was right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I need a break from Lee and the, uh, the Jack Lynch. They're falling yeah. into Steen and uh, or Kevin Owens, Zami Zane territory. Ah, unless okay. unless they do a ladder match at Tampa. That's oh, like, you think they're gonna do it one more they, game? They have to. They have to. And it has to be a ladder match. I need to I see. A, so. I need to see a Spanish fly off the ladder. I need to see it, man. Yeah, I'm scared. Oh, I'm scared. Even I'm scared when the Jack Bridge did the flip to the outside. He's a big man. Yo, there was so little room for him to fuck up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no. Had he been what, like just a few inches, mm-hmm. you remember when Austin threw McMahon and McMahon bounced off the table? <laughs> that would have been the Jack Bridge, man. Oh, yeah, man. man. That, that Spanish fly was crazy. Uh, whoa. oh, Dakota Kai. And- oh, Dakota Kai and, and Tegan, Tegan Knox. They had a good match. That was oh, a good. great match. That I thought, I thought it was almost suicide going on after uh, Lee, but they brought it. Came they- front. I took a shot on that match, nigga. I, you know what? I, I, I definitely <laughs> understand it. Oh, yeah. no, that shit was fired. That up. was the match. I knew it was gonna be a great match, and I zoned out. Oh man, the yo, they went man. hard. They went hard. Like pretty much tried to kill each other the entire time. Yo, it was Damn, great. I, for our entertainment. I'm about to go back and watch it. You should. It was you were doing them a disservice yeah. not going who, back who, and watching it. Who was it. that debuted? Or oh, returned? Fuck. Rena? Raquel? I, Raquel. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's tall. She is tall. Yeah, she's tall. The code kind of really small. It might be both. Both can be true. Where did, I, mean, I don't remember her. They said she used she, to look different. Did she? Okay. Yeah. Because now they made her look like Sonya Deville. I was watching. Yeah, was watching she looks like, like she looks like taller Sonya. I was like, them shoulders. Look like they're doing a whole bunch of control, like copy, they just copying shit. <laughs> Got me a when they had the yeah. little midgets, and they were just you know control. 
Mm. Yeah, copy, paste. copy paste and shit. Control V, whatever. But uh, yeah, cause shit, like they was working with like Sign Deville and then Real Ripley. It's not saying that they look exactly alike, but they similar. Who? Uh, Who? Real Ripley. And Real Ripley is more similar to Pete Dunne. She, she, yeah. <laughs> That's but, that copy. I'm just talking about the, the aesthetic of their character attire and the characters, like the badass girl. Tell them the They, I don't see it. It's like they, they different, but they similar, but they, they, they do the same stuff in a different way. If you kind of, that kind of makes sense. Like real Ripley is more. I mean, obviously she's a face. But she's not she's not strong on like the MMA side. Like she definitely have a little bit more of a vulnerable side to her character. Uh, but uh, Sonya Deville is more like a fucking strong nosed vet. <laughs> like, like she just like she don't take no bullshit. And but they both kind of like the badass female type. I, I don't know. I just see them being pretty much the they got like similarities to their character. I can see. I, the only thing I agree with what you said is that they're both the badass female type. Mm-hmm. That is the uh, woman type. That's the only thing that I can uh, agree with you with. Everything else, I don't really see that much of a similarity. <laughs> 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 Not at all. But it's all mm-hmm. good. It's straight. Mm-hmm. Agree to disagree. Mm-hmm. Perception is. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, things happen. What things was happen. Um. Oh, it was Balor and Gargano. That was a great match. Yeah, that, that was, was good. Like, that was another one that I was like, damn. But I thought he stumped through that motherfucker. Back, boy. <laughs> I thought he I thought he put his fucking chest in that nigga's stomach, boy. Well, Ballard put on his work, best work right now. Though. He, he is. is. You know how they said, like, Kenny is, like, mid in AEW? He's not the New Japan. Like, we see yeah. New Japan. Uh, oh, Ballard. Ballard, yeah. Oh, yeah, Ballard going in right now. Yeah, put on it's just I mean, it's crazy like how a change of scenery can really just re, you know rejuvenate you. Yeah, he, he put it. He, he uh, compared it to Broadway. He definitely doing his uh, best performances like he would if he was a Broadway actor. Yeah, because every match he's had in NXT's hit. This has been yeah. <laughs> Does he ever go back to Raw SmackDown? I hope not. I hope not. not. The well, according to Triple H, when he was on the Corey Graves podcast, is that it's supposed to be like a revolving cycle. Like if, like a if a superstar doesn't have any opponents, Cesaro. Yeah, Cesaro will probably make his. Now I only asked to go to NXT. I was I read an interview before she came back. She asked to go to NXT. That'd be dope. I would have loved it. Probably All of it. Perform, <laughs> probably have been a tag team with uh, Bianca Bay later. Oh, I would even have them tag team. I'd have just had, I'd have had to maybe have a match together eventually. That'd have been dope. The too, glowing yeah. EST. Mm. Ah, like I say, you. That'd be, a, that'd be a tough ass tag team though. And they both come out in like some glow yeah. stuff. They both strong. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they but, strong. But Bianca, more of like the. Uh, the uh, the Anvil type and, and uh, now I mean, you know, Bret. Bret Hart. I like yeah. that. I you like know that. what I'm saying? Like Just the way that the power, you got the power guy, well, female, and then you got the the high flyer technical female. Salute to, to hey Jimmy man, Amber. I've come back around. Good shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> probably back. <laughs> <laughs> Good salute, shit. salute to Jim Knight. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, man. OG. OG. Oh, I video. Oh, though, what was it? The next match was the next like, match was, was, was tag team no, it was the women's match. All right, so let's stop right there. Yep. Let's. let's okay, I got a question. Go ahead. Have they shot themselves in the foot with this, with the inclusion of Bianca? Because it's like now you have like to me like you have to put her in the match. I can see people are gonna feel like I, yeah people, people will be disappointed saying, yeah. if she's not. Like, what are you going to do if you, if you don't put her in the match now? Okay, so... All right, because so, since she's been so in, like, entrenched in the story. Before I deleted my Twitter, I actually had to, like, started writing a long post while I deleted it. Mm-hmm. I was like, I would just keep this, but if I talk about it on the podcast. I actually was the only person that wasn't for her winning the title or her going to WrestleMania. Mm-hmm. And, I, in fact, I did say, I said it the next day, that I'm a long-term person when it comes to wrestling, so I'm all about the story. 
Bianca has yet to win a takeover match, correct? She has not won a takeover. She's not won a takeover match. She's lost the title match a couple of times. Yes. Right? Uh, if, you, if you're three times, three actually. times, yes, yes, because she, if her, you want, fa- her yeah. family was there every time, yeah, it just builds it up that much more. Like, Bianca's gonna be okay. Mm-hmm. I don't want, I would, I wasn't wanting her to win at this takeover just so she could lose it at Mania, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Or I don't want her going to Mania in the, the challenger role, she's gonna be the one to take the pin because eventually they're gonna want to do. Charlotte and Ripley. Yes. One on one. So, with that being said, I think they've just, I think they've put themselves in a predicament. Like, what are you going to do? Yeah. Because if Bianca's not involved. Because she's pretty over right now. Yeah. Yeah, she's very over. Yeah. yeah very she had so. her, uh, she had her, um, her promo on. Wednesday. That's you talking about when she interrupted the match? Oh, yeah, I'm gonna let y'all finish. I'm gonna let y'all finish. Yeah, I, look, I, was at, I was at work. I was like, "Get him, girl! <laughs> Get him, girl!" Bianca a star, man. I love this shit. And she about to lose on Wednesday. Oh, more likely. Yeah, <laughs> I, yeah. I like the build up too. They could start like she can't win the big one. She can't. She's not clutch. Yeah, type shit. Yeah, because you could do a video package, man. It's just like her losing. You could throw the every side. time. You could throw. Yeah, oh, yeah, it's a lot. You could throw the Sam Roberts clip in there to add a little bit. That nigga deserves all the boos. But every boo he gets is rightly deserved. Just and it brings me like great joy. No, I will. I will say this: she has to win the title this year. Yes. Yeah. It, 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 the latest Boston Summer is that Summer Slam. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yes. Shoot. No, actually, no. I would. I would pull the trigger if they're doing more money in the bank weekend. I pull the trigger there. Because what you could do is you could have the mat, that match. What's money in the bank? It's supposed to be in June. Okay, then yeah. You could do it there, and you could have the final match between her and Ripley on SummerSlam, and that'd be like Rhea's send-off match. And she goes away. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be told. I'm here for it. A lot of possibilities with the talent in NXT. Oh, man, with the women's division? Especially the best women's, women's division. division. Best one. Best. <laughs> Yeah. Far. Shout out Thanks. to also shout out to Carrie Singh got married. Oh, oh yeah, congratulations. Yeah. Congratulations. To who? I don't know. I don't know. I, don't know. I, don't know. I was just like damn. I just thought she got married. I didn't know who it is. But she she smacking ass and shit for, uh, when it was. She was smacking her. Who's that who she smacking? She was smacking her. She bent Oh, up and, yeah, yeah, yeah. She did that. What was that Monday night? She, she did do that Monday. She, you are correct. Yeah. I just want you know. I'm like, oh, I get I get slightly upset from like oh, I mean, you weren't single. I didn't have a chance. No, nah, you had no chance. But nah. it's a, I understand. I feel you. Speak for yourself. I know. Ah, shit, I got the juice. Probably <laughs> still, <laughs> you know what, though? Probably I still can take them. We we don't have a chance because we're not in the industry. If we were in the industry, it would have been rough. Nah, I just need a bitch to look at me while I'm on the side. When I'm at the, re- like, at what's the up? arena. Look at me. Like, what's up? What's over? Like, NJ Jenkins? New Chicken NXT? Oh, I know yeah. what you're talking about. She yeah. would have at you. I don't know how she looked. Oh, I uh, she was in the the battle royal they did. I got you. I got you. But um, I'm trying to break up someone's marriage. I'll be trying not Damn. to. What's up, oh, Sonny? You know, yeah, I know. You've been back for like for a minute. It's slick bad karma. I don't really want, but sometimes yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm mean, like, fuck it. Yeah, I feel you. The, you the baby meme. Mm-hmm. I ain't mad at you. Uh, the next match was the Broserweights versus UE. I love the Broserweights. I love they're it. They're great. They have great chemistry. They're great. For a team that just came together, it works out pretty well. Oh, yeah. I yeah. love that. I remember. How that. seamless they do moves. Oh, yeah. They, yeah. Probably yeah. my favorite tag team right now. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Ain't no cap. You really thought UE was going to win. Yeah, I did. Mm. The cause, man, they, like, that's, that's a strong faction. And, like, pretty much they made their name having... All the fucking belts. So I didn't think they was going to lose it this early into, well, not this early, but this late it. into WrestleMania season. Like, if they was to lose it, I They were all going to lose all one full night? Pretty much. Or like, at least uh, at like a, at a, at the takeover Oh, you, oh you want everybody to lose their shit, like, together. Right. Like, it's <laughs> a family. And to show like a, like a dif- dysfunction in the group, maybe. Not saying they break up, but kind of, you know, how DX used to be, like, it was, it would be budding, like, they had like rifts in between the group. So I was all, I'm all for 
Because, you know, I was thinking, I was like, Undisputed Era has kind of hit that point, man. Like, they've done everything in NXT, except feud with each other. Or, is there a potential for a babyface run? I mean, they're already over be. shit. Why not? Just, why, why not just, you know what I mean? Like, why not make them like, like, I don't know if y'all have ever seen Kyle O'Reilly when he was in Ring of Honor, but Kyle O'Reilly plays a great face. Cole, not so much. Yeah. <laughs> I, got, I can Roderick, as cool as a face. I've never seen Bobby Fish, anybody cheer Bobby Fish. Yeah. Nah. nah but I think, I, I think people. Look old as shit. He has like four points. He looks distinguished. Yeah. He looks quite distinguished out there. They yeah, love like him. They do. Women love Yo, them. Yo, they love the, the, the so distinguished sure. Bobby so Fish. I saw plenty of memes Monday that I'm a white man's whore. <laughs> I'm like, y'all gotta respect yourselves, man. I'm like, hey, so the uh, the if I was a Bobby Fish, if how much fish could Bobby Fish could fry? If Bobby could fry fish. Y'all thought that was kind of lame, or y'all liked it? I thought it was lame when they tried to make it into a chant. Yeah, yeah. the shirt oh, was hard. I like the shirt though. Yeah, I didn't like the chant. How much fish they did it Bobby too fish, many fish, times, fish. and then like the like that many words. It's hard for, like, people say it that in unison. Mm-hmm. So it didn't kind of come across on TV as great as they thought it was. Somebody thought it was a great idea. This could be great. And they went out there and did it. Yeah. Hey, uh, I know I don't really bother in y'all shit. But, <laughs> but uh, I heard that chant and it was great. <laughs> Love this shit. Maybe I want to try this if you want to, you know. <laughs> <laughs> want to get over? Ah, uh, man. But it's cool. Rosa Waits win. Yeah, yeah. They're yeah. new tag team champions. They're going to lose it to the young girls with this. Oh, is that who you think they're going to lose to? Uh, apparently, that's that's a full-time move. Really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, they're going to be in NXT? Mm. Oh, I'm here for that. I'm cool with the young I'm, I'm cool with the raw out the revival. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The British cool. revival. Yeah, cool the British revival. That's I pretty much you. what it is. And talking uh, about that, don't y'all notice that WWE been showing like they slick be showing like, look, y'all motherfuckers replaceable. Third y'all fuck up. We got another. We got another motherfucker or motherfuckers that's just like y'all that filling y'all. Spots. That's why I never understood why they just don't let people go. Yeah, like you can't. Why do be, you keep them? Like, is losing the revival really gonna hurt your business? No, you just being petty. Mm-hmm. I, you yeah. know what the thing is, you I probably mean, would get more credit if you just let them go. You know what the funny thing is, I don't even think it's Vince. I wonder who's keeping them. Like, I think, you know, Vince makes the fun, but I'm pretty sure somebody's like, Vince, now we need him. And Vince is just like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> sure. I, I don't know if we really do, but yeah. fuck it. How much money would we say? Don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. We, we, we just can't have them go to the other guys. Like, I'm pretty sure somebody has made AEW bigger than Vince has said. I'm pretty sure somebody told him that it's Ted Turner's company. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's back. <laughs> like, that son of a bitch. We're not going to let him win this time. But, yeah, man, so I think, uh, I can't wait for the eventual turn in the Bruiser Weights. Somebody turn on somebody. Yeah. And I would you have turn. Brutal. I hope, that's who I want, yeah. but I, it's probably going to be I like him. done. I, I would love to see him as a heel, bro. He the, he already have that heel persona. You know, you know what it'd be like? It'd be like Van Dam and ECW before Van Dam became, like, love. Yeah. Like, just like that. Like, I just, I, I don't care. I'm just here. Mm-hmm. Whatever. I'm here for the check. Dude. Yeah, bro. I'm, I'm already better than y'all. Like, yeah, the fuck. Come this on, is light work. I Come just want to smoke my weed. And, which was and another part of the promo that was funny was when they said the trophy didn't pass the substance of policy, <laughs> the wellness, the wellness policy. That shit was hard. I was like, yo, this is funny as fuck. It's gone for thirty days. <laughs> That's a thing here. It's a thing here. <laughs> That shit had me rolling, dog. <laughs> nah, they got it. They yeah, got it. They got it together. They got nah, it. They do an amazing job. And in the main event of TakeOver Portland, Adam Cole defeats Tommaso Ciampa. Barely. They beat the shit out of each other. They really did. That um, German suplex into the announce table, I cringed. Yeah. I said, no. His neck. <laughs> Yo, he just came. Oh. We Why did you do that? I'm talking about to the edge of that motherfucker, too. Right. He wasn't even on that shit. It was like on the edge of that shit. And they had me on the edge of my goddamn seat. Like, Oh, yeah. I was right trying there. Trying to kill, bro. And then guess who fucked it all up? 
Oh, I guess you get... <laughs> I try no, to I tell y'all, man. <laughs> I've been telling y'all this. Watch this little motherfucker. You did. Little Johnny Gargano. He mm-hmm. waited for his time. His time to shine. Some hoe shit. Let it go. Yo, it's fine. Yeah, you true. Fight for... Uh, no, you don't have to. Do something else. I mean, hey, you heard Tommaso Ciampa's uh, promo on Wednesday. He was like, yo, he can't exist in the NXT where uh, Johnny Gargano's in it. A loser leaves in yeah, NXT? Yeah, someone has to leave. So Johnny's leaving, right? I hope so. Johnny Gargano leaving? Like, it's gonna, it looks like it's probably going to be like a, a loser leaves the NXT match. Mm. So I'm, it has to be Johnny. Both, you know, that's an unpredictable match because both men, like, they say like they're never leaving. Yeah, NXT. they don't want to leave. So you make him a heel and then kick him out? Yes. Johnny Gargano is easy to boo. And I'm glad that people are starting to see that. I know how much you love to look at him. It's fun. Yeah, man. You 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 have like a vendetta against Johnny no Gargano. Bad. I ain't got no family. I don't Yo, man, because you, you be talking bad about Candace just off the strength. Because Candace, I know, is not the Candace that I see. <laughs> it's two different things, you know what I mean? Can, <laughs> Candace still goes hard, can, though. No, there's a I know, I mean, she I used know. hard. I know she's I don't know hard. what she But it's not, I think she's still being hard. What she is, what Candace LeRae is, is like when you, when you hear the indie Candace is the album version of the song. Mm. NXT version is the sad, like, Saturday morning MTV jams. Amen. All I know is she took the most vicious, like, lumber <laughs> la part. That was the best thing ever. Look, that was the best thing Cedric Alexander ever did. He made her bounce. <laughs> Yo, she went in the air. Oh, that joint was beautiful. Where, where was this? There's an indie. Oh, man, I'll show you real quick. Oh, yeah. It was she, like, that was the equivalent. Like, he broke her back. Yeah. She bounced off his feet. Why he did that? <laughs> I don't remember why, yeah. but it was great. Oh, she did really good. I was proud of her. Are, so people were saying this was the best takeover of all time. I don't know if it was the best takeover of all time, good. but it was pretty damn good. It was pretty good. Like I love the uh, the flow of like how every batch went. Top three. Oh, man, I can't really call it because I ain't watched a lot of them. dog. Cause you didn't even see the coat that dog. That was a great second match to yeah. go into. That, yo, after after Keith and uh, oh, Keith, oh the Dakota comments, yeah, yeah right. I'm, I'm gonna go go back and watch it. But I was so hype off of that, and I needed to take a shower. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> you said one of these matches got to be a shower match, yeah. but I'm gonna go right. with Dakota. <laughs> I feel you. God damn! <laughs> yeah, yeah, dog. I, I will she bounce. Yeah, hard. That shit was crazy. Yeah, she either got a flexible back or she ain't got no spine. Ooh. She a G though. Oh, you know, shoot, man. Mm-hmm. She been about this life. She look. I don't know if she's doing an NXT. Her whole Gargano thing. I, I don't think it's like her fault though. Huh? I don't think that's her fault. It is. <laughs> God damn. Hey, it it's fine. Johnny tries to get the cheers just by doing the superhero shit on his tights. I mean, that shit is, that shit is fire. It's fire, it's fire, but you take that away, what is he? Cause what did he have on on Sunday? He was it was um, Carnage, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, yep. he did a good job. He did a good job. Well, well, I hope Champa wins up. Oh yeah, I, I want Champa. Bye, Johnny. Yeah, I want Champa to win. Don't let it get it twisted. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, defending yeah. Johnny because you be trying to kill him on this podcast all the time. I'm, I'm not trying to slander him, man. It's just, it you know, it seems trying, like it. I just try to keep it, you know. Just try to keep it one hundred. Yo, cause you, it just seems like you have like a personal vendetta. I get, man, look, I've been here plenty of times cheered for for Johnny. I mean, there's a lot of times you did not cheer for Johnny, right? Which one outweighs? <laughs> <laughs> let's talk, let's, which one outweighs each other? You know what I mean? Uh, like, I feel like it's a balanced breakfast. You only think it's a balanced breakfast? Yeah. Hey, people got difference in opinion. Which one do? We, which one am I worse at, Johnny or Cody? Oh, Cody. Okay, just a Cody by a lot. Oh, segue. Guess what? Two out of the three people here at this podcast did this week. <laughs> Watch AEW Dynamite. And I am proud of us. It was in the hospital, so I had no <laughs> choice. <laughs> <laughs> but you watched it. I did, because, like I said, I couldn't get to the remote, because I knew NXT, but I was like, I'm just going to watch this. Yo, Ugh. I was... 
It was a great episode. It was. It was a good episode. I was pleasantly surprised. I seen I seen the back flip off the top of the cage. I also seen uh what's the uh the half dead kid again? What's oh, Darby, Darby Allen. Allen. Darby Allen, I seen his promo. I thought that shit was kinda creative. I think the man, posters. Mm-hmm. I thought that shit was kinda tough. No, I d I don't want anybody to get it twisted. Cody's no perk angle. You know. Perk Angle, Perk Angle never connected. Perk Angle just hit the <laughs> ring. Like, just hit the mat and the back. Right. Yeah. I do you know. I was I was very impressed with the Warlow kid. Oh, he did a yeah, good job did, in the he match. He did a good job. I enjoyed the cage match. I, I and, like I, the, and I like how it was no escape. You I, had to pin. I like the mission. I like the structure of the cage. The cage was huge. Yeah, I liked how like the, the there was space a little bit between like the ring and shit, so you can go out there just a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. on the apron at least. Mm. Don't they have a pay? Yeah, it's next. It's next week. It's next week. Yeah, we're talking about that too. That's Jeff Cobb. Oh yeah, Jeff Cobb. Just Jeff Cobb and Moxley was it was a good match. If I was AEW man, I just I would throw the, the bank at Jeff Cobb. Jeff Cobb is somebody you need on your roster. Absolutely. Get rid of drop Jake Hager. Yeah, with the quickness. Even if you don't sign Jeff Cobb, just drop. He Jake Hager. Has he had a match yet? He's having his first match at uh, Revolution. Revolution. Yeah. Oh, okay. My, it's, okay. Against, it's against uh, Dustin. Literally, my only problem with Jake Hager. There's a lot. Well, actually, there's a lot. I have a lot but, of things wrong with him. You're, you're, there's nothing personal lifestyle, personal lifestyle, personal choices, personal choices, <laughs> beliefs. Oh, so I have a problem from wrestling wise. Oh, okay. You are the same person you were without the announcer guy. The yeah. dude that used to Zeb Colton. Yeah, that guy. Yo, he like, was real Maggie. He was Maggie before Maggie. Oh, yes, yes. Mm-hmm. Have you ever seen that little break they broke K Fame when it was him and Swagger they did a promo? And I, I think, who was it? It was somebody from CNN, and they were like bad matching WWE, and they like did the promo, but then they stopped, and they like said their real names, and they explained like why they do the things they do. Mm-hmm. I personally, I thought the the un American music gimmick was great, or not the excuse me, the, no, they weren't the What were they called? Real American, the real, real American, American. Yeah. yeah, they were very American, yeah, very much. So. That shit would have worked perfect in, instead of that was what twenty thirteen. Imagine if they'd done it in twenty uh. 2016? 16? After the Trump one? Oh, oh my God. Man, it's not watching. <laughs> it might have been rough. Oh, man, I was all... I know we don't talk politics on this show. I know we got wrestling talk. Mad people in the, the warehouse were talking shit about Bernie, Bernie Sanders. Oh, what he would? I was like... <laughs> Why would he hate up Bernie? Huh? Why would he hate up Bernie? They just, just went off like one of them. I mean, he has his faults. Like everyone. Yeah. Bernie just looked like he's just not there. Um, I'm kind of worried about his age a little bit. Um, he's not my first choice that we have left because all of the people of color are gone. Yeah. And Bloomberg. Mm-hmm. That motherfucker ass. Uh, oh, nah, 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 nah. nah. That ain't winning, is it? Hell no. Hey, there's no way to help. You ain't seen that it. shit? You I know, I know the, about Bloomberg. The, the uh, fucking... Yeah. Even the debate, like oh yeah, he, oh yeah, Ms. well Warren. he just there, he just know he just got to survive, but he got he got Ms. done Warren. up. Mm-hmm. Warren yeah, fucked yeah. him. <laughs> See, I would vote for her. That's who I would. Yeah, out of who's left, that's yeah. who I would vote for. But. Bernie, I'm, I, I have no faith in him. I have no faith that Bernie will make it. Make it happen. Oh, in that in way. life. Oh, yeah, yeah. I figured that's what you meant. Yeah. Oh man. All right. Man. Well, uh, oh, man, I got dark quick. Yeah. <laughs> I want to call, I want to answer, it, but go ahead and answer. Oh, I was fine. I don't know. I don't know what the next topic is. Oh, oh no, we're gonna. You, you oh, look, you ain't say anything about Cody. Oh yeah, this so, is your time to shine about I Cody. We, I forgot we forgot. Oh, <laughs> uh, so maybe it's just because I was in a you know a sentimental mood. Mm-hmm. And, you know, just the the boring sound of you know the heart monitor going off, mm-hmm. but Cody. Cody did a sing in the cage match, man. He, he actually he shined. I gotta see it. I gotta see um, it. Anything else you'd like to say? No, that's it. That's it. That's that's it. Dang, okay. bro. Is this the first time? No, this is the second time. Yeah. Yeah, because he he uh, gave him his props for that great promo he did. What promo? Uh, the the it promo. It the promo from a while ago. It didn't exist. <laughs> I mean, it happened. You awesome. do know we recorded this, right? Like, there's only one episode that. I don't remember. There's only one episode that we don't talk about. Huh? Do you remember the number? I can remember it if I looked at it. I mean, it's not three. 
think it's 33 or 34. Don't, don't get me lying. <laughs> <laughs> I've listened to these hey, shit look, a lot. Look, I, I get it. I get why white people love Cody Rhodes. You know what I mean? Like, they, they, they love them some some young code. I don't get it, personally, but I get it, if that makes sense. Mm. <clears throat> um, I mean, I don't have my excitement level that high as everyone else no. when Cody comes out. But I, 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 I do, like, enjoy seeing it. I barely it. react. Like, I like his theme. His theme goes hard. It's hard. I like it. Um... I like the like how the reaction from everyone. Like he has a lot. He like you said earlier. He's probably the most over like person right now. He is the epitome of what bookers used to do back in the day. They don't trust anybody to be their top star, so, so they, they are the top star. Yes. So Cody essentially has position. Of, yeah. Okay. So all right. So I, I I don't know if I've said it on the show. I was under the impression when AEW got started that the focal point was going to be Kenny Omega. Mm-hmm. I thought that's who they were going to, like, that's who, like, this is our our franchise player. This is what we're going to build to. And then somewhere among that, I was just like, I saw the change. What kind of change? Of the executive vice president making himself the focal point of the show. Okay. I mean, he is the... who? What's the top storyline in AEW right now? Him and MGF. Who's the champion? Chris Jericho. Exactly. Yeah. I know. Yeah. The the AEW world title was the... It was like the 9 o'clock hour. Well, he was out there for it. Yes. Because that's when Jeff Cobb and the Moxie were fighting. Yeah. But I think at first, initially, they were trying to put it around... uh, Kenny, but the niggas are trying to realize what Kenny Vega is. Yeah, I think Ooh. it kind of naturally, <laughs> but I think it kind of naturally oh, evolved to uh to. I forgot to about your dislike of, of, of Kenny. I ain't gonna be for Kenny. <laughs> I just I I'm glad people are finally starting to see what I knew a long time ago. <laughs> what you saying? That nigga ain't shit without Jap- without Japanese fans around him. Damn, that's why he, he dating Sean. Kota? Yeah. yeah. Hey, man. You know Kota. both of them? You know they're both tag team champions right now? Tanahashi and Kota Bushi. Yes, Not they bad. are. They are tag team champions. That's a great team. Oh, so yeah. man, shout out to William Regal's son being in the uh, the dojo. Yeah, yeah, I remember you telling me that. Joe Bailey. I thought yeah. he was dating, uh, the what's the girl name? The little small girl? No, no, no. Oh, um. Riho. Riho? Yeah. Oh, Kenny, Kenny, Kenny loves him, so Kota Bushi. Oh, they go out? Go to love it. I don't, I don't think they date. Man. Okay. <laughs> okay. I don't know, so I don't have anything they, to say. They, they're dead, yeah. yeah uh, this is, hey, look, this I'm, look, I'm here for their love. Hey, I'm, I'm here, here for their love, too. I just have no idea. Yeah, so I can't. Either. Yeah, I can't. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I have no idea about what the Golden Lovers do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's too many jokes. But, uh. Stop it. Oh, stop. Stop it right but now. anyways, anyways. <laughs> no, but yeah, that's all. Yeah, that's, Co- that's, that's, but Cody, yeah, Co- Cody, definitely most over. Yeah. Is it deserving? No, yeah, man, he been over man, like that. Way. Before, <laughs> man, why is such a hater? He been over like that even before uh, AEW, dog. Like he just been the shit for over a long where? time. Over what? Uh, the world. <laughs> that I mean, part of him, part of him being such being being over. Everywhere else, like New Japan and other indie companies like that, is like the foundation of AEW. Yes, it is, bro. Like that, that the following that he, soon as he did the little list, the little I want to wrestle this motherfucker list. His that lady. Hey, look, look. I'll give him all the credit. I didn't mean to cut you off. Are you good? The, the, I'll give him all the credit. Everything he's done up and since he's left WWE has been sound strategy. I know for a fact he left. Like I said, him linking up with the Bucks was the most genius thing he could have done. Because had he just went into the indie straight out, he would have he would have floundered. True, truthfully to me, he would have floundered. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, cool, you got your list and everything, but you just happen to link up with the hottest act on the indies at the time. Which got you a gig in New Japan. 
mm-hmm. which just got you these. You inserted yourself in this this crew that just will happen to be one of the hottest things. Around. You know who we can blame for this shit? Dave fucking Melsley. Because if it wasn't for him saying, "Oh, they they wouldn't sell out," and Cody being uh-huh. like that. <laughs> 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 so this, oh, I got you. Don't worry. Yeah, it's cool though. That's cool. Uh, I was gonna do the Revolution card, but I think they only have like four matches for real. We can do it. It's fine. Um, AEW Championship is Chris Jericho versus John Moxley. Mox. Uh, maybe. Uh, Kenny yeah. Omega and Adam Hangman Page versus the Young Bucks. Ugh. Yeah, it's probably gonna be the Young Bucks. Young Bucks and uh, uh Hangman Page gonna turn on Kenny. I feel like you got the wrong one. You think Kenny gonna turn on Hangman? I would do that. Yeah. I would do that. They're gonna turn on each other. One of them gonna turn. But I think it's gonna be Hangman. Oh, Hangman ain't gonna be in the elite no more. I know that Kenny is more easy to move. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Um Dustin Rhodes versus Jake Hager. Pass. Um, <laughs> Cody versus MJF. Cody. Is there a stipulation? No, I don't think so. MJF. Mm. I think yeah. It's right, because Cody can't even wrestle <coughs> for the belt no more in life. Thank God. Yep. You know how that works in wrestling. He'll, yeah. win, he'll win the title next year. There's always a there's always a loophole to this. And their and their version of WrestleMania, whatever that's gonna be. I'm trying to figure all out. out. <laughs> yeah. It's all the yeah. WrestleMania. Yeah. I'm, all, yeah. I'm, what is yeah. it? Okay. I didn't know. What I would consider. It I thought it was either that or double or nothing. I, I say double or nothing is their SummerSlam. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. Cool. That's dope. Um. Guess what other pay per view that I don't want to care about at all? It's Sweet on th- Saudi this Thursday. <laughs> it is Thursday. Thursday. It is. Thursday. I don't have the network anymore because okay. I just refuse to. Sit down and update my payment information because I got a new card. I understand. And that just takes time. But I might do it for this. I hate you. <laughs> you want to watch it on Thursday? Because, like I said, I don't work during the week now. I mean, I get off work at... I'll be over at 6. <laughs> I got class that night. So, I'll probably watch it early when it comes out. I understand. I don't know, but... All right. So, we got... Are we well, actually doing predictions no, for this? Do we actually care? No, we don't. Have okay, good. Uh, I'm going to say this. I feel they just me. Mm-hmm. This is what, their fifth one? Yes. I, I think. think, I feel the drawback of them doing shows in Saudi is now, it's starting to weather away. Oh, yeah. They're not getting, like, murdered for it. Yeah. No. Nah. I think the plane, the, the, the play plane fiasco was, was wild, but hey, yeah, that shit was fucked up. That could have just happened. Well, no, it couldn't have happened anywhere. It, it was going to happen there. Yeah, that was one of the <laughs> most likely places yeah. that would happen. Um, so for the Universal Championship, we have The Fiend versus Goldberg. Did anybody happen to see SmackDown? Yeah. Yeah. I saw the clips. Yeah, yeah I saw. I, I, watched, I watched SmackDown. So yeah. I watched it. Yeah, when yeah. Uh, Goldberg speared The Fiend. Yeah. And The and Fiend looked down, and, and then he had to leave. Yeah. That shows that they're really trying to set up this Cena versus Goldberg shit, which I'm not, I don't want to see. I rather see. Gonna- we are doing no prediction, right? No prediction. Goldberg's winning. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Goldberg's I want the Fiend to win. I hope the Fiend. I hope wins. the Fiend wins, but I can see Goldberg winning. When they were talking about the changes, man, I was just like, "What are y'all about to do? Like, you really about to put the belt on fucking Goldberg again?" Yeah. After that poor performance he did with the Undertaker, the my- and- look, Goldberg should just be coming back to lose. That's all he should be doing. Yeah, just he already got money. paid. Just get your money and get your, your get in and get out. We don't need we don't need you to be but in the belt. I could see them wanting to set up like Cena and Goldberg as like a marquee match. Yeah, because we were about to come in here and say that we were wrong. It's Cena and Elias, Thank and God, we, that's not happening. Yeah, you know what? You ain't want that. Oh, apparently it's been changed. I know. Yeah. That's what oh, I'm yeah. saying. I, it was supposed I, to be Cena versus Elias. That's yeah. what it was going to be, but now they're talking about changes. And Somebody shit. had a good idea what to do with Cena. Because they were like, the idea, they, they were like, the reason why he was probably going against Elias is because, he, you know, he's in Hollywood now. Mm-hmm. You, they don't want to risk, like, like, the same thing that happened with The Rock. Yeah. Like a, like a torn something. 
So they were like, they put them with, against not the necessarily the safest, but you know what I mean? They're easy picking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But somebody was like, why don't you have him in a segment with a 24 hour, 24 or 7 title? And some interaction between him and our truth. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, because you know. Yeah, 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 they go back. Yeah, our truth is, uh, they're John Cena's our truth uh, role model. He, yeah, he, yeah, loved, he loved John like, Cena. <laughs> And I thought I thought he was gonna go again, go for the belt at WrestleMania. That that was the rumor. It was, was. There's a lot of things nobody knows what's gonna happen because they don't know what the fuck they want to do. Mm. If you really want to get some ratings on Wednesday, and now Sean T is gonna be on NXT. People will Duh. watch that. Oh, absolutely, damn right. Because you know who I want. Velveteen. Oh, Velveteen Dream. Dream. Yeah, that'd be dope. But. <laughs> Velveteen Dream has like all the incarnations of Cena on his tights. <laughs> Yo, he'll kill the game. Oh my god. Kill well, the game. Yeah. Um WWE what? Championship. Brock Lesnar's <laughs> <laughs> I should be laughing. Against that's, that's Trevor. Against Ricochet. I got Ricochet winning that shit. No, the fuck he's not. <laughs> Get out of here. If no, Ricochet Brock- wins, I'll buy five Ricochet shirts. Mm. I hold you to that. Huh? I said I hold you to that. <laughs> there's no way Trevor's going to win. I know there's no way Trevor's going to win. That'd be wild, though. Um, Raw Tag Team Championship. Seth Rollins and Murphy versus the Street Profits. No longer Seth Rollins. It's just the Monday Night Messiah. Oh, the Monday Night Messiah. The Monday You're Night right. Messiah. You're right. You're right. The Monday Night Messiah. I love how yeah. Seth Rollins became a Buddhist. <laughs> <laughs> He's went from CrossFit Jesus to CrossFit Buddha. Hey, he's versatile. He's versatile. I'm loving this new gimmick. I love it. I like it. Still don't get why him and Murphy have a tag team titles. And know. not AOP? Yeah, yeah, it doesn't yeah. make sense. Um, yeah, then Murphy and Rollins aren't losing. No. They're not losing. No, it'd be great, but they're not. Um, We have the SmackDown Tag Team Championship, the New Day versus John Morrison in the Miz. New Day's definitely losing. Yeah, they're probably losing. Yeah, they're definitely losing. Yeah, yeah. Sad times. But it's cool. Man. They got seven. That they had that dope moment with um the Usos on Friday though. They did. Yeah. I missed that part. Yeah, man. That should uh oh, I that? need that to happen. Was that uh them to go at it again. Yeah. Need it. I still say they should have had a one on one or tag or tag team match at WrestleMania. I don't understand why they did it. I just open that I'm open the show. Like, you know what I mean? Like They had to kill it. That's uh every match they've had has been Fire. I've never seen a bad. Or build them up for WrestleMania. Keep the belts on the Usos. I mean, on the on um New Day. New Day, and then it's gonna be another, probably another fatal four way tag. I mean, I don't need that shit. I don't like. I, don't, I, mean, I, I watch. I mean, we don't that. watch it, but I got designated nap matches. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Anything that has anything to do with Hulk Hogan. Let me rest my eyes real quick. Yeah, fuck that shit. Um, King Corbin versus. Roman Reigns in the steel Why cage. Is it still happening? I like the cage match though. Maybe this will be the final. Like, all right, we're done. It should be. I feel yeah, hey, it should be. They're making a cage match for Phil Important. I guess. Yeah. Yeah. So the cage match. Yeah, cage that used up. to finish. That used to finish, finish feuds. feuds. Yeah. I'm gonna go with the big dog. Yeah, he's got Goldberg to worry about. <sighs> Maybe. Who knows. Uh, SmackDown Women's <laughs> Championship Bailey versus Naomi I don't know why this is at a Wrestlemania but hey whatever if I see one water bottle thrown at Naomi I'm fucking oh absolutely they better not or Bailey too they don't anybody deserve, they don't deserve that that hate hate for no reason I, I don't get why they're doing this match right now I thought this would be much better at like Wrestlemania yeah like yeah. you should have just had Carmella do this I don't I think I, I don't. Also, I don't. I get why people want Sasha to be in the WrestleMania match. I'm good on the Bailey Sasha match at mm-hmm. this point. If I don't think Sasha is somebody else. Yeah, I just don't. I don't think Sasha and Bailey's an appeal anymore. Yeah, I'm still kind of like confused why SmackDown women didn't get the the Elimination Chamber match. But hey, whatever what happens, I guess. Yeah, I do. There's one match that's predictable on that whole show. It's it's that match. Yeah, because what are you you're not gonna do Shayna. Shout you ain't gonna to, shout out to Vampire Shayna. We didn't talk. About oh that. yeah, she she out here biting uh, people's uh, bodies. That was the dumbest shit I've seen in a long time. But hey, I mean I've seen dumber. I've seen dumber, but like, I just didn't like that. Like Santina Murillo being in the 
Women's Royal Rumble. That was really dumb. That was. Yeah. So I can I can live with Vampire Shana. Uh next match is the Tuik, I believe is how you pronounce Tuik, it. Yes. Trophy Gauntlet match. It's Rusev, R Truth, AJ Styles, Andrade, fresh off suspension. <laughs> Eric Rowan and Bobby Lashley. I'm pretty sure Andrade's like in Mexico right now, just like, God damn, I gotta go back to work this week. <laughs> God. I've been able to chill out with my lady. Damn. All right. Cool. I'm actually, I, I'm usually not a fan of those type of matches, but I'm actually excited to see this shit. No see how it plays off. I think uh, AJ. AJ's gotta do something like to build up this, this supposed match with Taker. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, Maybe Taker will be there. Maybe he'll interrupt it, and that's how AJ loses. Yeah, so he cost AJ the yeah. Okay, I want, I think Rusev's gonna win this shit. Rusev in a contract? I saw he was in a really bad. Oh, they they fight. Yeah, hmm. I think Rusev hates hates each. <laughs> <laughs> Rusev got a big black dude kissing my wife. <laughs> this was his idea. I wonder if he really thinks like. Right. I wonder if Rusev ever thinks like, damn. I wonder if she ever thinks about it. <laughs> <laughs> Does she really like? Maybe she really wants that. Do you know, man, they, like, they not really like not together. They still together, right? In real life, Rusev and uh, Lana. Lana. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, they actually husband and wife. Yes, but you know, I mean, I just like. I know it's acting and everything, but you can't tell me that doesn't like cross your mind. Because when maybe you're really secure, they they might be in an open relationship, so it might turn them on. They seem like they would be. Hey, I wouldn't be. I'm not surprised by nothing no more. Bruce F probably just enjoys watching. Oh, he's a cup. Is that being a cup? Yes. Oh, wait, I'm. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm thinking of something else. Okay, yeah, you were. Yeah, you're I'm watching some. So, I'm so we'll pleasure your wife in front of you. Yes, you are a cup. <laughs> That's a cup. All fair. We'll talk. talk. We'll talk. <laughs> okay. I, yeah. We can talk about that. Okay, yeah. go for it. So, if you like, are you a cup still? If it's another woman pleasuring your wife. Are you, are you still a cuck? I feel like if it's a... Or is that... I, I wonder. I don't know. That's a good question, that right? That's a good question. Because you can't say, oh, it's different because then you're, no, being, it's not. And you're being hypocritical. Yeah, you're right. Hmm. That's what I'm saying. So is it a cuck? If, you know what I mean? Like, I mean, maybe. You're a simp? Okay, it's just, it's, I guess it's like that question. I like, don't, damn, that's no a ma- good... No matter, no matter what the gender is like, do you think a man's ego would be more fragile if a woman found pleasure from another man or from another woman? From another man. I know Cisco seemed pretty hurt at the end of uh, somebody sleeping in my bed in front of his ladies with another woman. He dropped some whole flowers. Actually, you know I mean, what? No, he did it because he went outside and then he went right back. Into it. I knew what Cisco was about to do. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Cisco probably was like, man, did I know just... Shit, we go back up there. Yeah, yeah. Alright, cool. Let me see how this was. But yeah, yeah. See, that's a good question. That is a that's good a question. question. Hey, man. Thanks, man. Uh, I, I have to look that up later. I've been reading a lot. Oh, <laughs> I'm not mad at that. I've been reading I've been a little bit more accepting mm. and asking questions. But I just, you know what I mean? Like, does that make does that make you a cuck too? Oh, I'm interested. I'm going to ask some people. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to get answers. Um, I'm going to ask. I'm mad. You know I'm, I'm, I'm going to ask. Oh, you know who you're going to ask? I don't know. Who okay, that's good. Yeah. I have a pretty good at, um, yeah, guess on who I'm yeah. going to ask. So it's all good. Um, Chris Bay signing to Impact. Chris Bay is easily the free agent of the, the last two years. Man, that dude has been working. Yes, he has. I, I was kind of surprised with the Impact. I think AEW missed the whole ass boat. And I hate to say it. It's just my opinion. I think Cody used Chris Bay as, I don't want to say like a, what's the proper word? I don't want to say like a guinea pig for the whole like we're going to have diversity in our roster. Mm-hmm. But I feel like he just, he threw the name Chris Bay out there to be like, have people like. Oh, to get some snacks. He, he, he picked, to me, it was like he picked the top nigga mm. in the, the cotton field as a way to be like. Yeah. we want. I, I, got, I, I got you one. I got, I got you one here. Because that's something saying. he would probably say. That's son of a bitch. Who? Okay, man. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, <laughs> Cody? 
Stop putting racist for Cody. Hell no. I, I have I have seen nothing to think that he is a racist. So man, oh son, you ain't gotta go at this man that hard. Awesome. Yeah, man. It's okay. Be positive. Spewing that rhetoric. This may be positive. This may be positive. This may be positive. Hey, man. It's all good. It's cool. But yeah, uh, I'm excited for him, though. Me too. Yeah, I see. He's going to be definitely a star. Do you think uh, AW missed the boat? Do you think think they were playing, like, they threw his name out and just playing around? I think they might. I, I, I think they were, like, genuinely interested. I just think they fuck up. Yeah. Sometimes they who else they fuck up on when they like when they were trying their hardest with damn punk and the man, and they didn't even like go at him for real. That's what it's just like you know what I mean. Like uh, it's smart. It's smart for for Impact to to jump on them because, like I said, now you now I feel like people are gonna like check out Impact. And be like, oh damn, they just signed Chris Bay. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, I gotta pay attention. Yeah, yeah. Impact's yeah. roster is phenomenal, man. You know what I mean? They just. It's impact. They don't get no shine. Like, people notice. It's just not enough. No. No. Yeah, we know they're doing that good work out there. So, you're doing even better work. MOW. Yeah, yeah, you've been yeah, telling me. Yeah, MOW is phenomenal, man. MOW? MLW. MLW. Yeah, Major League Wrestling. Yeah, I still got to check them out. Man, they're, man. they're fantastic, man. They, they come out every Saturday, 6.05 Eastern Time. The classic Saturday night time of uh, uh, time. This has got a great roster. Oh, you got to give a shout out to uh, the two rumored, or I guess it's not rumored because they announced the Bellas. Yeah. But uh, the British Bulldog yes. is finally getting his spot. As oh, did we, talk about last week? did we talk about last week? No, we just talked about the Bellas. Oh, okay. Yeah, British Bulldog mm-hmm. getting his long overdue. Did uh, I see Batista? We did. Okay, good. Yeah, Batista. So it's Batista, uh, two members of the NW, or four, three members of the Three NW, members of the NWO. And some nigga. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, the Bellas. <laughs> yep. And the British Bulldog. Hey. And now, and now JBL. Oh, is he? JBL is rumored to. Oh, interesting. I didn't know that. Okay. I, 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 I got to be for JBL. Me no, either. I, I just, I love to see the uh, his uh, acceptance speech, but. He should come with the mustache. Mm-hmm. I like him with a black. Yeah. What was it, black Jack? Black Hawk? Oh, but, um, Hawk. Sorry, uh, man. Uh, Justin oh. Hawk Brashaw. Yeah, just, yeah. yeah. Was black Jack Brashaw. Ah, yeah. that's the one I remember. Yeah, that's I'm, from. Uh, remember them? They used to do them fucking. Uh, them tough, not tough enough, but them fucking Brawl shoot for? brawl for all. Oh, mm. He was on that shit. Him got, and Godfather. He got knocked the fuck yeah, out. Yeah, he got beat yes, up. Yes, he did. Got that wild beat. Oh man! <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I think Rod Simmons will, will induct him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, you would feel. I feel like that has to be like perfect for that. So I was confused because I was reading about Dude. British Bulldogs one, and apparently, uh, I was. It was funny when the podcast I was listening to, they were like, "His son is the one that's going to be inducting him," mm-hmm. and he, they were like, "Like, so then who's going to accept the speech?" And somebody was like, "The guy was like, oh, it should be Bret Hart." I was like, or it could be his wife. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? His, his, wife wife's not, his wife's not dead. No, she's still around. Yeah. I would have Brett, I would have Brett through the introduction and then the son. The, yeah. the son, the mother, and his daughter. Right. When the son when the son uh in WWE? At one point yes. Yes. yes he was. British book. Man, that's a big that's boy. Yes. That's a big boy. He's a strong boy. He's, he just got a big strong boy. Yeah, yeah. Big strong. No, no, that's a man. <laughs> you right. There's nothing Tyler made about yeah. him. That is a nah, look, I'm like, look, man, like training wise, I would love to train with him one time, man. Like his whole method is Who oh, David Boy Smith Jr. Jr. Yeah. He has like that old catch wrestling training style, like that that you know, the next train. Mm. Looks next strong. You just got you actually it's, Contract with MLW comes up this year. Mm-hmm. He, he just signed uh, to All Japan, which I think is a good sign for them. Oh, did he? Okay. Yeah, he didn't come back to NXT. Shit, I'm good. I'm actually good. Nah, he don't need to come I'm back. Good. I'm good. Oh, but I would love to see him do like a match, but I'm good. Yeah, he don't need to be there full time. Why not? Why? They so wouldn't him, do Keith Lee, him, Shavol. Yeah, name? those are great. Those are all great matches. But we can he can do one off. So he don't gotta. Be signed there. I want to see him all the time. Pause. 
Oh, man. Uh, <laughs> Do you remember when JBL did the Nazi shit? Yes, no. Uh, <laughs> I did not see that shit. Not. So, the, in Germany, there's a video of it. It was in 2004. This is when he first started doing the gimmick. They were in Germany. <laughs> it was in a tag team match, and he was on the outside. And in order to get heat, he threw the Nazi salute and did the goose walk mm-hmm. on the apron. Yeah, you can't do that no more. Damn, so you couldn't do it in 2004. I know. I, know. <laughs> I bring that up because I really hope somebody brings that up. <laughs> just ruins I it. mean, you just did it. I was when he brings it up on a national level. Oh, okay. I feel and like I, I know he never came across to me as being like racist or nothing ever. You think so? I mean, you heard him talking yeah. about <laughs> Oh, hell no. Nah. Yeah, he did that in good old Germany. You know what? J- JBL fits the other person. You know, he has a, a black best friend. Right. <laughs> that, He's but good my best friend's black. <laughs> but now, when he when he inducted Farouk, he was it just I don't know, man. That's one of those I don't see color. <laughs> mm. I just see my best friend. That's what that's simulated simulated racism. I feel like a lot of those tag teams that have interracial shit. Mm-hmm. There's always a hint of racism, like the Dudley Boys. Yeah, you can't tell me you never thought Bubba Ray at one point may have. Dog, he had a fucking uh, rag that was a Confederate flag. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's not forget. Yeah. <laughs> Who that? Bubba. Bubba Ray. He did. You don't remember Bubba Ray used to have that shit? Yeah, on his head. Yeah. This is that, actually, this is, I'm looking at just JBL shit, and there was a a vignette where he kicked out illegals at the Mexican border. <laughs> I forgot about that. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh god. Yo man, they was wild. But you know what JBL wild times J- JBL in that in that in that era, man, he won some battles, man. The matches he had with Eddie. Him and Cena had great chemistry. Amazing chemistry. It was a WrestleMania match, wasn't it? The WrestleMania match and then the bloody ass match they had in Judgment Day. Mm-hmm. I miss Judgment Day. That was a great pay-per-view. Yeah, that was, that was, that was that a was, good title. Everybody was everybody was bleeding on that pay per view. Yeah. yeah. I, I'm, was it their first, first blood match in a long time ago? Like, uh, um, what was Stone Cold? What that judgment day? No, that was King of the Ring. Oh, damn. Yeah. So, my one with Kane and Kane. Yeah, and that's the set of stuff on fire. I remember when I was at eight years old, I was like, there's no way Kane set himself on fire. Yeah. I was like, this shit might be fake. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's what, that's the question. It. It's, oh, psycholo- man. it's psychological scars, man. You know what, though? I always, at that time, I was like, all he's got to do is just cut his arm. Yeah. And then he can win the match. <laughs> We're thinking the most practical ways to get it. At eight years old, I was, yeah. saying, I was thinking this because. We're not thinking of like a, put it on a good show. No. We're just trying to win. Look, man, I tell people all, all the time. You go back and watch that. That two there suck. They weren't that good. That's no. no it's not. There's, there's definitely be lacking. I tried to watch one of those roles. From, I just got couldn't do it, man. It was <laughs> terrible. From back in the day, yeah, like ninety eight. The last mm-hmm. raw I watched was the the Owen Hart, which I don't um, get why you did. So. Uh because I I just wanted to watch. Which one? Have you ever gone back and watched the Eddie tribute? No, I can't do that because I'm sad. <laughs> yeah, I, I know. Nah, I don't know why I can watch the Owen Hart one, but I can't watch the probably because you were a child with the Owen thing. Yeah, I feel like was. I feel like you weren't emotionally in, like, and not to say you weren't emotionally invested in Owen Hart. But yeah, we didn't, but grow, we didn't grow up on Eddie Hart. Or, or Eddie yeah, Hart. we grew up on Eddie. Yeah, I, yeah. I was WCW due to heart, man. And then he went. Then when he went to um, WWE, yeah. it was it's sad. The, the radicals. If you, in hindsight, if you go back and watch like Eddie's like last couple matches, like, he just doesn't look well. Mm. Like go back and watch the uh, the match he had with Batista. Uh from. No mercy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it just doesn't. He just he does. And it, it, it's funny too because like if you go back and watch Benoit's last match, like sounds off. You could see, you could look like in his eyes, like you know what I mean. Like the eyes is the portal to the soul. You could just tell like because now now you're looking at it from different like this ain't really about to wild the fuck out in, in three days. Yeah, 
You know what I mean? Some unforgivable shit. Yes, yeah. yeah. Pretty much. That's crazy. You gotta like look back. At. Look back on certain things, man. It's, like I look you, at because you have information. You already know what's out to happen. Like I look at OJ's mugshot. I'm like, yeah, we did it. I mean, in, 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 in hindsight, you know what? There was also a serial killer back then. He might not have done it. I'm bullshitting. You know he did that. Shit. Oh, okay, I was gonna say I'm bullshit. I'm bullshit. I'm bullshit. I'm bullshit. I'm bullshit. I, yeah, I, didn't I do like the I do like the one the uh, the little conspiracy that it was his son. I, I don't. I've heard that. I don't. I don't. I don't know why. I just like that theory. I don't believe it at all. But yeah. <laughs> no, <laughs> nah. He did that shit. It's when okay. you watch the Made in America shit, you're like, yeah. Yo, yeah. yeah. I watched the Made in America shit. I watched the the um. I think the one we, FX did. Yeah, because I think then, it was uh, you that I hit up when I was like, you know what? This is Made in America. It's the same one. Nah, nah, it's different. Yeah, it's Made in America yeah. is the ESPN the the documentary. Yeah, yeah, right. It was more of a documentary style. Wow. That's um, the, the FX, FX one. Where it's like Cuba TV yeah, show, Cuba did good. Terrible, yeah. did a terrible job. Yo, yeah, man, don't be hating on Cuba. Cuba. Dog, he did an amazing Somebody job. Somebody suck this bitch. <laughs> what you call it? Uh, what's my man? Courtney B. Vance. Yes, Courtney B. Vance's um, Johnny Cochran was amazing. I didn't care. Sarah about Paulson. She did a good job. Amazing. Did One, good. if it had Sarah Paulson in it, I'm fucking my dead. man. What's my man's name from Friends? Because he got oh my god. Oh, um, David Schwitz, David Switzer. Switzer. Yeah, Switzer? yeah. He irritated the hell out of me in that. Do you like Friends? So my my lady's favorite show is Friends. Oh, okay. So my mom's favorite show is Friends. So I watched a couple episodes. Mm-hmm. I chuckled. I chuckled. I don't laugh. I chuckled. I think. you know what I mean, like a little huh? like you weren't expecting to like. Oh yeah, like oh, oh that, that, that was cute. Good. That was, that was yeah, cute. Yeah, yeah. I feel you. I just never really. Um, I've never I'm, got into it. I might have watched maybe one episode of that shit. I I've, I've, already, I've watched more than one episode because my mom likes it. I've already yeah. apologized to you about Seinfeld. That show is hilarious. Yeah, yeah, yes, Seinfeld is elite. Yeah. That shit is great. That's, that's top. That's yeah. That's, that's top five. That's top tier. That's, that's top. Five. I don't like anyone that doesn't like it. I'd be like, damn. I, so you can have your you. opinion, yeah. but I totally disagree. I'll tell you what was a, a good white show. Cheers. Yeah, Cheers was a good Cheers show. Good I'm show. telling yeah. my girl about yeah. Cheers. Cheers was a good show. Yeah. Cheers was a, an amazing show. And the spin off Frasier. Another yeah, good, show. good show. Yeah, it's, it's a Frasier. good show. Yeah, yeah. I, you know, I don't even consider that a white show no more since or he did Frasier, like man. girlfriends and shit. Frasier. No, he just knows how to make money. Yeah, yeah that's, that's all. He knows what's good. That's true. <laughs> Y'all remember a show called Coach? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I used to watch that. That shit used to come Damn, on. That shit came on when I was a kid. That shit used to come on either before. Is it? It'd be like before something on. Did you consider Scrubs a white show? No. Okay. I, mean, I love Scrubs though. I think he's a come on after Raw sometimes. What? Scrubs is Scrub? probably Scrubs no, is probably the coach. best sitcom ever. I always remember Coach. Oh, after Live Wire. Yeah, something like that. Because yeah. I always remember Coach coming on like mad early in the morning, like before school. It used to come too. on mad early in the morning, and then there was other nights where it used to come on like late. Did you say right. Scrubs is the best? I think it's probably the best sitcom. I agree with you. Yeah, I, agree I love. Which, is that considered a sitcom? It's a yeah, yeah. yeah. Is it a sitcom? It's a situation. Right. I don't know. I, th- I think I guess in my mind when I hear sitcom, I always think of like the the old school, like in front of a live studio audience. I got you. You know what I mean? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Nah, it don't have to be a, a in front. Of house was pretty good too. I never got into house. Really? I never did either. Yeah, house was really good. I I only it used to come on before twenty four, so that was the only reason I'd watch it. Mm. I'll tell you what was a boring ass show. What's that? Oh, uh, damn! I just lost it. Never. Damn. Yeah. Don't you hate when that happens? Yeah. Yeah, I just blamed the weed. Yeah, it was a boring ass show. Obviously. Yeah. Wait, well, because you said, oh, ER. ER was oh, a boring, ER? ER was a boring show. I never watched it. Oh, wait. I, I did I did like, the, one of the things I really liked about um, Scrubs is that medical professionals said that was probably like the most realistic yeah, show. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like, it was like, Grey's Anatomy. <laughs> I hate Grey's Anatomy. <laughs> I hear how good it is, and I love Shonda... Uh, rhymes shit. I just have never watched it, and I know it's a lot of episodes. A girl, a girl I used to mess with. She she used to watch it all the time, and I was just like, I don't get it. I was like, why can we not watch Scrubs? I was like, that shit. <laughs> oh, makes, Scrubs is way better. I'm sure more, it is. Makes more Man, sense. It was. It's this movie on Netflix called Jacob's Ladder, mm-hmm. and it's oh, pretty much yeah. you got all the characters from Scrubs, but that's oh. but it's Michael Ealy and the dude from what's his name Jesse Williams. They yeah, play brothers. Can do. Yeah, they play brothers. When I say that movie, it going it's like it, it got like a big ass plot twist. Y'all, I'll, yeah, I recommend that shit. Is, I, it, uh, is it crazier plot twist than that Lakeith Stanfield movie? <laughs> Sorry to bother you. 
I haven't watched it yet. Oh, have you seen that movie? That plot twist, it just goes left, like, immediately. Oh, right. <laughs> like, it's just, you, you think it's one movie, and then <laughs> it just Whoa. goes Whoa. left. Yeah. I'm going to watch it. It's a, tomorrow, it's, a good, it's a good movie. It's, good. it's not like it's a bad movie. It's just, yeah. Nah, this one, like, it's, it's, this movie is a, it's okay. Like, it's like a B plus because of a lot of other shit. But when I tell you, like, it has, like, a big-ass plot twist in it. Mm-hmm. It's towards the end, but it's like... You said it's called Jacob's Ladder? Jacob's Ladder. It's on Netflix. Oh, I was going to say, because the one that's coming up is, came out in 1990. It's on Netflix. It's real good. It got Michael Ely and fucking... Um, oh, it's a remake. Okay. Oh, it's, oh a remake. it's a remake. Yeah, it's pretty good. I'm not even going to lie. After I'm, losing his brother in combat, Jacob Sinker returns home from Afghanistan. Only to be pulled into a mind twisting state of paranoia. Damn, I'm to Singer listen. soon realizes that his sibling is alive, but life is not what it seems. Interesting. They pretty much, yeah, they pretty much said it. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's my uh, reading voice. Yeah, that shit was kind of dope. I watched it, right? <laughs> Good job. You like that? Oh, oh, thank you. Man. <laughs> hey, I, 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 um, oh, the Jamie Foxx? I ain't a big Ray Charles fan. So, oh, I I remember you know I remember yeah. that yeah because you wow. I'm just I'm not offended. I don't understand why you don't like him. Yeah, like, let me phrase that. He made George. the way you talk about him. I've calmed down. Okay, I've calmed cool. Down. Just I, do, I used to do that just for podcast purposes. Okay, even good. Though, even though Nick is trash, Yo, he's wild. <laughs> you made the man because of beautiful. You be out here saying wild shit for no reason. Yeah, dog. Like, this is fucking. Talking what's, negative about one of our kings. What, Ray Charles? Yeah, yes. one of our legends. I know you were. <laughs> well, it's all podcasts. So I ain't got no beef for Ray Charles, man. I ain't got no, I got no beef for Ray. Uh, that nigga was wrong. I just, that, that movie's great. Jamie oh, Foxx really, I don't know, I know Ray Charles wasn't dead when the movie was made, mm-hmm. but that nigga was, that was in Jamie Foxx's spirit. <laughs> I, I, I make it do it, do it. That's what Jamie Foxx is one of them. Uh, most talented people in the in ever. How, yeah. How upset were you? Did you know that James Fox is not his real name? No. Yes, I did so know that. His name is Eric. Yeah, yeah that's Eric actually. Mitchell. Something yeah, like that. that's I was like, what the fuck is that? I want to say I used to listen to uh, uh, the Foxhole, like the shit he used to do. He used to have like a radio show. Oh, uh, satellite radio show. Yeah, yeah, that shit was great. It was. Mm. The roasting session with him and Kevin Hart. Oh like, yeah, that shit was great. That was the best one. That's prime shit, yo. I guess that was probably. I think that might have been like my introduction to a like podcast for real. Even though it, they just did it in podcast form. Yeah, they really yeah. did. Yeah. yeah, indeed, man. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm, you know, we were talking about Scrubs. I really hope they do that Scrubs podcast. Oh, I'm here I'm for getting, it. I'm getting an instant. Absolutely, yo, the- Shay, um, the author Shay uh, Shamaro. Uh, I think I forgot how to say my man last name, but he um he's doing a like a a book about Scrubs. Really? Yeah, it's I think it's gonna be just a PDF, but he can still. It's such an amazing show. It is so good. But just forget the ninth season exists. Other than that, and here's the thing: the ninth season won't. It won't bad, mm-hmm. but it wasn't. Mm-hmm. It should have been called Scrubs. Where did you? Where would you rather go? What are you doing? If they just called it interns? Yeah, something, or at least call it Scrubs interns. If you're gonna, you, you can use Scrubs. I didn't watch it until like much later. Oh no, yeah, I was watching. I, was on yeah, TV. yeah, I, I, I watched. It I became. Much later. I, I was a week to week nigga with Scrubs. <laughs> like, oh, when they went from when the writer strike happened, I was a week to week nigga. Yeah, then so I was. Yeah, it was a minute. Favorite Scrubs episode. Oh, I'm going to put you on the spot there. Damn, yeah. that is hard. Put you on the spot. Oh, they were so good. Yo, okay. Tab in the cop out, but I don't care. Okay. The finale. Because the finale Fair to enough. me Fair is, enough. is like, Fair enough. that finale yeah. is, that was is perfect. perfect. That was perfect. There was no other way oh, that they should have been. Yo, dog, that shit is sad as shit. Yeah, when gonna... he's walking down the hallway to walk Every... out and everybody that was there. In my, some type of capacity. My favorite episode was when... Remember when he used to do the episodes where like he would touch somebody and the other person would narrate? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The one he, the, the one that Janner did in? <laughs> That's actually... like I love that episode, man. <laughs> the saddest episode to me... Oh. The saddest episode... Which one? That still gets me is the... Uh, 
when Dr. Cox lost those three patients. Oh, all the same day? Oh, my Yo, God. That's heartbreaking. Yeah. That was wild. Um, or when uh, the second... When, when, when um, Laverne died. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah. That's sad as shit. Um, let me think. Oh, oh, damn. Which one was it? It was like the first season and like, it was the first, they like Turks. You talking about the older lady? Yeah. The older, and older Turk, lady with the glasses? And then Turk lost the, the kid. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Didn't Elliot lose somebody? I can't remember. I can't yeah. remember. Yeah. I love that fucking show, dog. That show was one of the best right, shows. I got, I got you. What's, What's the worst episode? <laughs> oh, man. Can I pick the knife season? Because it's definitely <laughs> no, what it no, 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 no knife season. Oh, okay, not the knife season. <sighs> man. I got to think about that one. I can't think of a worse episode. Because I really like that damn series. Like, um, I know, I can't think of a worse episode, but who's your worst character you don't like the least? My worst character? Jesus. <laughs> yeah, because... It, it's funny because it depends on the season. Okay. All right, so if we're going just for the entire show, I wasn't a big Carla fan. You didn't like Carla? I was not a big Why fan. Why did you not I, like I Carla? Just, I did not... I, just, I am I, hurt. Yeah, I, I just. Uh, oh man, like I, yeah. it's, it's just funny, like because back then, like I used to like uh, I had a girlfriend at the time, so I thought like me, I was turned. She, <laughs> she was Carla because I have a homeboy who's kind of, like he. I'm more like JD than he is, but we just treated it like I was turned. Yeah. I was the black one, so yeah. <laughs> I like I said, there was times Elliot was annoying. I've always liked Elliot. She gets in her up. She got in her way entirely too much well, she, all the time. She annoyed me when she cut her hair. Oh, damn. The, so you know, the, the Bane season. So what you got to you, you felicity her? And so you mad about yeah, that? Yeah. <laughs> I do remember the Bane season. Yeah. Though, but yeah. Well, who, who's your least? My least favorite? Yeah. What's old boy name? Um, not Todd. The one that used to have to go work in the... Um, the morgue? In the morgue. Oh, Doug. Doug. Yeah, yeah Doug, was, Doug was bad. Yeah. Doug was really bad. Ah, uh, man. Favorite character? Turk. Absolutely. Turk, yeah, Turk. Yeah, yeah, Turk. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's sad that my life is Turk. I thought my life was going to be more like Turk. My life was turned more to JD. And I'm totally cool with that. I like to think of myself like a Turk. A yeah. I got you. Nah. Nah. I be getting my way sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah at least you're not like an old boy uh, from... I'll make your mother. You want to talk about nigga? That got oh, my oh! I kind of feel like I'm like a mix of those two: Ted Mosby and Ted uh, JD. Ted fucking Mosby. Just a clown. That's a big Man, got left at the altar. As you should. Yo, why That's you? Like, De- why you not like Ted? Not what did Ted, Ted do to you? Everything. <laughs> Yo, yeah, he's Ted going to Ted's neck. I hated Ted. Ooh, nice dog. Yeah. Good shit. But I just, why don't you? Why don't you hate Ted? I think we talked about this. I think we had, but not on the t- not on a fucking episode. He was just a. It, you want to talk about a simp ass nigga? <laughs> Ted Mosby was. He just believed in love. You mad about a, a nigga believing in love? There's a believing in love, and then there's just like what he was doing. And that nigga was doing the most. I mean, he was. Th- he, he, he was had, extra. He was very, extra. Very, very, very extra. You watch that show, yo? Hell no. Nah. Uh, I, I wanted to. I mean, it wasn't like I didn't. I watched maybe one episode and I thought it was funny because it had the dude from, uh, from tripping on it. With the mole on his face, scrubs, right? No, that's, no, that's scrubs. Yeah, how I met oh. your mother. Yeah, that's that's. Scrubs. Oh, how I met your mother. Yeah, yeah. I ain't watch that either. Yeah, you good. It's all good. You. Miss- I ain't watch a lot of TV. I, I watch basketball. When you get to the last episode, like how I met your mother is good until you get to the last episode. Then it just holds. Oh you man, I understand. The last oh, episode Modern wasn't Family. that good. Yeah. Modern Family. Modern like, Family, good. That's a good. That's show. like one of my favorite shows. I never really got into it. And I, I that show's hilarious. I think that's only just because I haven't sat down. No, it's pretty funny. Yeah. It's pretty funny. It's not. I think this is the last season. What it needs is, to be the last season. What is the greatest television show of all time? In your in your opinion, to me, it's The Wire. I was gonna say The Wire. Breaking Bad's up there. Say, I could say The Wire. Um, me right now, currently Atlanta. I like Atlanta a lot. I can't wait till it comes back. And is that season three? And Snowfall. Yeah, it'll be season three. Okay. Yeah. I like Snowfall. 
I don't know the best one ever, dog. It's, it's a lot. Yeah. There's a lot. The Shield was a great show. I need to go back and the watch Shield that. The Shield was fantastic. Because I, I actually was going to watch The Shield, but then I started watching Sons of Anarchy, and then that's what started it. Because I already watched Sons of Anarchy. So, so I was like, oh, let me. Done with it. Oh, yeah, I yeah. finished it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I hated um, Clay all over again. Yes. I was like, yo, why is it, this nigga needs to die so Quick. many times. <laughs> so many problems would have been solved if you just that's killed him. Or burnt him. Yeah. From the first episode. <laughs> he, Yo, I was ready for him to die. He, he was ain't shit the entire episode. Am I the only person that didn't feel nothing when his baby, when uh, Jack's baby got kidnapped? <laughs> I felt, I felt <laughs> he, nothing. He didn't feel anything. I was like. Oh. I didn't feel it. Um, let's see. Tiggs. I think Tiggs, like, watching his daughter die was probably one of the craziest things. When it's he got con- burnt a lot. Okay, okay, so here's the thing uh, about that. I don't feel as bad. No, let me rephrase hey, it. Okay. I don't feel bad for Tig. Because Tig was a terrible person yeah. who did who did awful things. I felt more bad for the daughter because she, she didn't did nothing. And I get it from a mobster's mind, like an yeah. eye for an eye. Like, oh yeah, no, no, no. I understood the reasoning of why yeah. she had to go. I got it because Tig killed um, his daughter. So hey, you gotta go. The most satisfying death in that whole series for me was when um, what was Shorty's name? From the, it was was it the first season, and Obi killed her. And he was like, oh the um, the the, 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 the agent. agent, the agent. I was with that. I forget. Oh, she had. I was like, shoot. That. She was. I forgot how long she was like on the show. Yeah, because it wasn't the second again. season, right? Did she die? The, the second no, season? she died to like the third, the, right? Fourth. Oh shit. The fourth. Oh. Wait, because. Oh, this season is the one they went to Ireland. That was the third. Yeah, that's the third season. They they came back from Ireland, and they, that's right. So yeah, was that, that, yeah, yeah. yeah, I, was, yeah. The, I was like, shoot, this she one. had to die because she did terrible things. She set she set up so many people. I was like, shoot that, and killed so many people. She was so damn dirty. Yeah, she was, nah. What you call it? The the cop that was fucking Tig was horny. Yeah. <laughs> that, that was a horny cop. That was a horny cop. Hey, yo, so before we get out of here, What's up? Uh, I just want to, <laughs> I just want to share the weird shit that you see in the hospital because, you know, I was, I was there at, you know, during the majority of my, my week mm-hmm. and everything. So, you know, you have an opportunity to just wander because sitting in a room kind of is boring after a while. I can mm-hmm. understand that. Man, there's some weird people out here, dog. Yeah. Yeah. Weird people yeah. everywhere. Yeah, yeah, dog. There's... It is. There's definitely some weirdos out here, bro. Especially at night. I'm cool with the weirdos, though. No, not these weirdos. Oh, what kind of weirdos are these? Ooh. <laughs> ooh. <laughs> he said, ooh. Yeah. Okay, and also, like I said, just because I was out of boredom, I went on Craigslist last night. Mm-hmm. More importantly, I went on Craigslist, the misconnections. Oh, yeah. I didn't think people still did that. What's that? That's like back page? Mm-hmm. No. Mm-hmm. It's more like a kind of... To a point, this connection is kind of like like you seen someone somewhere and you didn't like say anything, or you might have said something to or them, but you didn't get their information. Or you, mm-hmm. and then and then you just like, or you could just be a stalker and be like, "Hey, I seen you here." So and also, nah, that's, nah, that's so this one, crazy. so and also, you know, in Craigslist you could break it down by city. So this is in yeah. Norfolk. Mm-hmm. Just a girl looking for some action. Is anyone out there that just wants to have an old fashioned hookup, a little less talking, a lot of more action? If you are married, engaged, single, I'm not trying to change any of that. Must exchange sell and fix. Oh, yeah. People bought that. Like this that. shit right here is in Newport News. Hmm. <laughs> oh, oh, he's getting himself together. <laughs> yes. Or looking for pipes and drains in Newport News. Hmm. Oh. Yes, I service drains, pipes, and nuts. So if you're looking to get your pipes drained and drained clean, then send me an email with a pic. I'm an oh jeez, I am a nice, solid, older bear plumber. I unclog your pipes and drains. This is also a mail to mail. Oh yeah. Oh, he's about that life. Yeah. Hey man, shout out. That him. sounds like a serial killer or someone that that really descriptive. Or he's a really good plumber. Yeah, no, nah, fuck that. Got some gas looking to smoke and give head. <laughs> <laughs> Straight to it. 
He didn't even collect hey, man, $200, he, dollars, yo. Nah, he didn't lie not about nothing. That's hey, funny. Hey, man. hey, man, whatever people want to do. That's up to y'all. Mm-hmm. In this world. In this world. Yeah, this is the world. Mm-hmm. It's all good. But hey, man, uh, I do believe that is probably... That's, that's the end of the show. Yeah. Yes. yes. Yeah. Uh, next weekend, I can, I can actually... Well, as right now, I can say out a little late. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we, as of right now, we don't have work next month. Though. Oh, really? It could be changed. I don't oh, know. okay. I feel you. That's what's up. Hey, man. I'd rather not go to work because I got the rest. Yeah. I like to sleep. Sleep is great. Yeah. I love sleep. That's what I did a lot of this um... oh, this weekend. Yeah, me too, dog. I'll sleep yeah. like a motherfucker. But I did got to hang out a couple times this weekend. It was nice. That's good, man. Indeed. That's good. Whenever Diggy spot both night. Diggs! Yeah. Man, man. Chad Diggy. Oh, Dan Gable. Dan Gable. He was on one of these episodes. I forgot which one it was. He was, yeah. Yeah. I gotta, I gotta call him, get my man up. Yeah, man. He's getting him up. I would say he lives in, um. The old, his old spot. Yeah, his old, old spot. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. Exactly. He used to mess with a girl out there. She hates me. Oh. Um, Should be all right. It's a theme. Sometimes they be hate. It's a theme of my life. I've learned, I've learned to take the noble effect and just not care. It works. It does work. It works. It works. It works. Like, I care for people. For sure. a little bit and stuff. But yeah. Um, you can find me at Relay on the Leaf Relay of the Leaf on Twitter and Instagram. You can find me living vicariously through Relay of the Leaf on Twitter and Instagram. <laughs> you can find me at Misconnections on Craigslist. You know, making sure that don't, so get don't get your pipe drained. Nah, yeah, don't get your pipe drained. I was about to say something else, but I ain't going to say it. <laughs> <laughs> you, can, you can find me on Twitter and Instagram, DMAC Tardy. Have you been on the, the page, the the Twitter page? No. No, okay. I have not. <laughs> you have the information, so whenever. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got it. I don't worry. I'll be back on Twitter s- one day. Who knows? It's all good. I'll be back on Instagram before I'm back on Twitter. Oh, no, nah, I'm, I'm much more of a Twitter person. Uh, but You can find me on Tumblr. Oh, you're on Tumblr? Oh, I am on Tumblr. Shout out. Yeah. Get out the Tumblr. I'm getting love out there. Hey, man. I didn't even know you had a Tumblr. I just, I just created it. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's what's up. But, well, have a good evening, everybody. Hope you See enjoy you yourselves. Next, uh, next, what, next week for Elimination Chamber Predictions. Damn. Yeah. yeah. God damn. When is it? Oh, yeah, Elimination Chamber is your birthday, right? Yeah, okay. So that's two weeks Hey. Our countdown to WrestleMania. Hey. Bye, everybody. We out. Peace.